Welcome back to Educating Ricky, Ricky Gervais's XFM show, part two. We gave you part one, and, you know, we're going to give you part two now. Got to, got to. It's the principle of the thing. Oh, man. I I have tried to get in my headspace for this. Yeah, yeah, you are, uh, as is right now, you're kind of rough. So Hey, man. I, I feel the sickness creeping creeping upon me. So, yes, this is going to do n- a number to my mental state. But that's okay. But, but It's kind of expected, not only because of your the down with the sickness, but because it's <laughs> Carl effing Pilkington. This man is like the anti-me in such a perfect way. Yeah. Like, I, 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 I grasp for straws here when I just hear him <laughs> human. I'm just like, what <laughs> blows my mind? And just uh, when you just when you want to dismiss it to being this man's crazy, he'll drop this gold nugget of like absolute <laughs> craziness. And then you're like, I'm back in. Let's go. <laughs> All right, man. Let's hopefully it left off right where we were. But anyway, we'll we'll figure it out. <laughs> yep. Strap in, grab some uh, some beers or some uh nighty night medicine. Probably the same thing. Uh Yep. And let's go. Let's three, do it, man. Three, two, one. For cash. Yeah. For cash. One of the prizes we're giving away. What? Oasis. Live forever on XFM 104.9. Right. We're in the swing of things. It's my, it's mine and Steve's favourite bit of the whole show. This is what we do this show for now. Educating Ricky. Yeah. Go for it, Carl. You said that learning can't be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll go for the one. What's the one about the butcher going down the butcher shop? You got to uh, get your kit on, we're off down the butchers. Yeah. You going for that one? Yeah. Well, do you know the saying, um, <laughs> don't let the cat out of the bag? Yeah. Do you know, do you know what it means? Yeah, well, don't give away a secret. Right. Well, do you know how it came about? No. Well, uh, ages ago, <laughs> before- <laughs> Ages ago. 17th century? Yeah, before- <laughs> I forgot that that was a part of it. He always just says, ages ago. Yeah. Not spe- specifying a certain time any, frame. Any date. A- ages ago. How long? Ages ago. Oh, got it. Got it. So, I, ten minutes ago. Yeah. The, it, it, I love that, though. It's just, more historians need to need to start implementing this dating system. Yeah. That, that <laughs> Carl has. How long was this? The, 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 the Egyptians built the pyramids? When? Ages ago, man. Yeah. Uh, tracks. Yeah. Just tracks. ages ago. <laughs> Whatever you think ages ago is, we're probably on the same page. Yep, pretty much. Before, like, yeah, yeah, 17 is good. Yeah. Before, like, you know, proper butchers and Jewhursts and supermarkets and that, you used to get these blokes who oh, right. who sold meat. Right. right? Butcher, butchers, they were called then, I think. Yeah, yeah, but the difference was they didn't stay in the same place, they moved about. Right, so they'd turn up on a street corner, right. and he'd have like loads of carrier bags of like carrier uh, bags. <laughs> yeah, with you know, with meat in and that, and people would plastic like, carrier bags. Yeah, uh, with whatever. mobile butcher on them. Yeah, yeah. Right, so uh, <laughs> and an email address. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on. People went right. Yeah, I need some meat. Right, so they'd uh, <laughs> they'd go up to this bloke, and uh, say, "What have you got?" And he'd say, "Well, I've got a got a you know, you can have a, a bag full of pig, or you can have a whatever a bag full of chicken." Whatever, yeah. and they go, yeah, how much? They go, oh, you know, call it, call it a fiver, whatever. Yeah. And um, they they buy them, and to to make more money, they didn't always fill the bag with what they said was in it. Oh, and yeah, I thought that might be the case. Right. Yeah. So what did they, they ever do? put cats in there? Yeah. <laughs> but I don't see what what. Okay, so sometimes they would put a cat in the bag they put and a pretend cat in it the was bag. chicken or whatever else. Yeah. So why was a cat any cheaper than a chicken? Because cats are wandering around the streets, aren't the chickens aren't? So they'd, so they'd get a chicken, they'd put a chicken on the top so that when they look in it, they'd go, yeah, that's all right. Got a bag full of chicken. They'd get home to make the dinner yeah. and they'd be like, what are we having tonight? And they'd go, well, you'll never guess. <laughs> and they'd, they'd have like, you know, well, you can have a chicken leg and, you know. But it wouldn't got, be, it'd be a cat. Got, yeah. <laughs> they'd have to defrost a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Did they mind that they were eating cat then in, the, in those days? He didn't say. He just was saying about the saying, uh, don't let the cat out of the bag. It's like, you know. <laughs> Uh, if they see that, they're gonna go mad. I, I'm, I'm, I'm mildly disappointed with this story. <laughs> don't let the cat out of the bag. I, I, I don't. 
I I can't. I can't believe it. I just can't. I can't go with them on this. It's crazy, man. Yeah. People used to eat cat. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hard times come for us all, right? Yeah. I'm not. I'm not saying cat doesn't need to be on the menu, right? But, <laughs> but at the same time, I'm like, why you're not letting it out of the bag anyway? I, I. Ugh. I mean, I guess the idea is that. If there's a another thing in there that isn't, you know, chicken, then it would weigh more, and the customer would think they were getting more than what for what they paid for. And here's the thing: is cats uh, are assholes, and they they like to claw and not be trapped in places. Yeah. So, like, not letting the cat out of the bag was probably a business uh, thing. To, yeah, that's crazy. But, but that's a dumb idea because cats are assholes and they're not going to go along with your uh, ploy to sell yeah. less chicken to people. It, especially if you're putting live chickens and cats. I'm pretty sure they don't mix in a bag. Oh, hell no. And, and for some reason, I was under the, the assumption that no, no animal that was in the bag was alive. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. <laughs> so... I don't know, man. That's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right if it's true, but you know, it's something about it's just. I want to know more. He always leaves yeah. you. Is it Carl doesn't quench your thirst for knowledge? He creates more. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Well, yeah, he's like the pot noodle of information. Yeah, do you know, I, I, he never. I want to go. I got nourished by it. It's if, it's if for every fact he tells me, there's ten others that spring yeah. up that yeah. I have to get clear. Uh, well, so it was the people that were doing this. It was the it was the dodgy butchers that coined this phrase. Were they saying to each other, "Don't let the cat out the bag"? I <laughs> what I mean by that, Jack, is don't let them see the cat. Yeah, what yeah. we stuffed in there. Yeah, dodgy butcher. That's another phrase, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So that's that's the first one. Uh, is that a euphemism or is that yeah, dodgy butcher? As is meat delivered round the back. Sure. So that's that's that one. So let's get your kit on. What does that mean? It's a, a euphemism for uh, homosexuality. Okay. And meat, presumably, in that means different things. It doesn't. It, it's it's a word that is also a male would it, bird. Would it mean chicken or cat <laughs> necessarily in that context? <laughs> or, well, I suppose it could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Carl's look, just looks. Look at him. It, it, Carl looks at you like a cat. Yeah. Whenever we leave him behind, if we don't talk like straight at him and let him see our lips moving, mm. and it's you know monosyllabic and very very sad. Look, he's lost. He's lost in that conversation. There, he just drifted off, didn't you, Carl? No, I just was. Also thinking on animals and that something else I was going to use. Go on. Was um. Is this it... isn't a radio show, is it? I just suddenly caught myself. This I is not. This that. is nothing. I told you that before. It's it's been bad today. <laughs> no, but I mean it's the way this, this casual way that it's like we, we almost have no regard for our listener, and I'm not proud of that. I just don't know what to do about it. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't know how to do this properly. I I mean, we're just chatting here. I mean, it's only Anderson who's seen through us, and <laughs> yeah. that surprises me that more people haven't. I mean, what are the figures like? Do people listen to this show? I'll find out for you. You keep saying that, but um, yeah, there's this parrot. And, uh, <laughs> apparently, it I mean, in. Rick, it's unique. <laughs> if nothing else, I mean, when you wake up with Woken tomorrow, you're not even going to yeah. hear him start alive. <laughs> there was this parrot. Go on, there was this parrot. Yeah, go on. And it can talk, and that someone's obviously. You know, tore it out how to speak and that, and yeah. um, it flew away. Oh. And, it, and it's living in this church, <laughs> right? <laughs> and uh, people are at the church doing Ooh. hymns and that. And then Trouble's brewing. In, be in between <laughs> the hymns. That parrot we was owned by an old. The uh, miner used to swear a lot. Yeah. Well, then the vicar is going to be is going to be really annoyed. That vicar, yeah. that vicar's going to go on. I just hope it stays quiet <laughs> during the vicar's <laughs> sermons. Yeah, go on. Have you read it? No, go on. <laughs> you read it. No, go on, no, go on. That's, that's what happens, right? Go on, tell us, join, join the hymns, it's sort of effing and jeffing and stuff. Effing <laughs> <really. laughs> and jeffing! Yeah. And everyone's like going, oh, you know, it's quite funny, really. You know, it doesn't know what it's doing. Everyone's yeah. having a laugh. Yeah. But it's causing a havoc at funerals. <laughs> <laughs> Where did this happen? Uh, uh not, not, not years ago. John uh, was a much loved man. He was a wanker! Yeah. So anyway, so that was another what story. What can you I... say about Uncle John? Bollocks. 
<laughs> oh god, I love, I love the fact that when you look at things you go, that's interesting, the power that swears at funerals. That would be a nightmare. And it stays with you. You see, for a simple man, you retain an awful lot of knowledge. It's just all rubbish. All Do you know what I mean? If you just replaced all this rubbish with good stuff, yeah. you'd be an intellectual. Yeah. Really. Because, I mean, your, your attention is fantastic. Yeah. So, did I lose you again there, did I? So was it the word retention? <laughs> We've still got, uh, wash up with you. <laughs> oh, Carl, uh, I just can't catch a break with Ricky and Steve. Well, like, Carl has this slow burn about him. And Ricky's just too sharp, too fast, too witty. He's, he's the million miles an hour guy. Yeah. Carl will get there eventually. Yeah. You know? Yeah. He's got to give him time. And, and it's just, and that's why in Ricky's mind, like, especially, you know, in that comedic timing, he's going fast, fast, fast. And all of a sudden, Carl comes up with, so there was this parrot out of nowhere because they're talking so fast, the conversation has already blown past what the hell they were talking about. And then he brings up, so there was this parrot. Like, the fuck? What are you talking about, dude? That oh. was, uh, love him, Carl. Just Carl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Should we play a record and do wash yeah, up with you? Yeah, yeah, we'll play a bit of Aqualunga. <laughs> Aqualunga. <laughs> All right. <laughs> from the album Original Pirate Material, it's obviously the streets and uh, an album track from that. It's too late. Fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. I know everyone's raving about it being, you know, one of the albums of the year, but it, it is, I think. It's great. That's brilliant. Mm. I love, love the backing as well. Mm. It's just so good. The, the, the lyrics, the things you go, I don't, oh, they're my favourite band of the year. Um, next week then, we'll do all our favourite songs of the year, shall we? No, I think it's got to be two weeks time, hasn't oh, it? Oh, two weeks, is it? Yeah, we'll I'm do away Christmas. next week as well. What do you mean you're away next week? What are you doing? Zoe Ball Show? I'm going, going up north again. Why? So Claire's gonna be here with you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. at least she- What are you doing up north? She does her job. Just, uh, Suzanne's dad's birthday, uh, so. Yeah. I bet he's a party animal. I bet I've read that they really kick off, don't they? Is it? Yeah. yeah I mean, so you gonna be raving? Can't concentrate now. Oh, well, he's all stressed because the lady from MTV's here. She's gonna film his little face. So the what? Thing, the things he said in the week. He was so worried. He's got worried about the spot on his head. That won't come out. Just that he's got your best side. He's on that side. That's all right. All right. <laughs> yeah. Then the camera's out. Look, he's getting nervous now. Okay, Carl. Ignore the camera. Okay. Just ignore yeah. the camera. Okay. Now, me and Steve have done our research for you, and we've got two amazing things to tell you. Uh, what's the turn first, about the baby or the Well, the they're crab? both equally fascinating, so you, you choose. Um, I'll tell you the crab thing first, right? Um, we, uh, Steve actually saw this thing in the Guardian of the Week, uh, about our research thing, and then we looked it up, we looked into it on Friday, and it is incredible. Right, listen to this. There's a, a thing in, um, um, in a bay in, um, uh, New England, right, where it's, it's like the biggest, um, uh, they make silicon chips and stuff for computers, right? And because of the data protection thing, after they've d done them, because uh, they have to destroy the plates, right, well the information's sort of put onto them, but there's still flakes of silicon, they sort of grind it down straight away, and some of the flakes got into the bay, okay, but some of the information's still on the, even the slight like granules of silicon, anyway, gets in the water, and silicon is rather like, um, a, a carbon derivative, they reckon if there'd been life on another planet that wasn't carbon based, it'd be silicon based. Because mm. that simple sugars and products, it's just COH and that, and it can work with silicon, right? Anyway, the crabs have been taken up, it's put on the water, and they, they looked out on the beach, and uh, over years the crabs have started um, sort of putting themselves in formations, like geometric format, and they couldn't work out why they were doing this. And uh, when they put them in the experiment, they sort of like chopped them up, and they found they'd taken on silicon. And it had sort of got into their brain, and they were downloading information. They oh, actually wow. they picked up little things because it's just chemical, um, you know, like uh, electrical impulses had got information off the silicon chip, and they were interfacing it. But this is the amazing thing: one bloke sort of thought of this, and he thought, well, if if it's a simple computer, the brain, if it's just a simple sort of electrical thing, then maybe there's there's sort of uh, you know we could we could get it down. So what, what they did is they made a thing called a bio-interface. And they that put it into the crab's brain, just a really simple brain, so it's Major Omongar, right? And it got impulses from it, and they were getting, like, computer 
I mean, that's just flashes of like symbols and geometric things were on this screen to read the crowd's brain, and it was stuff like you know fragments of a. Um, what, what made them do this in the first place? Because they saw the they saw the crowds behaving differently. They were behaving differently to each other. They were just like they were, you know, intelligent, and they were sort of solving problems and all this sort of stuff. Anyway, when they downloaded the the thing, it was like a there was um uh they found us uh, they were so fast they found a, one of the secretary's names where it had been on the silicon chip, where it was just a, like a flash of a computer screen. <laughs> but the most amazing thing is, they downloaded a memory, right, it was like a, like a snapshot where it had been burnt onto the retina of the crab, just a snapshot or something, and it was like a picture of the beach, like a couple of years ago, right? And they also did, uh, uh, incredible, it was like a, just a, a digital black and white sort of thing, so they could see what the crab had seen. No way. No. Amazing. Jeez. Bullshit. No fucking way, bro. I I want to believe it, but there's just no way. There's just I because like, it's th coming from Ricky doesn't mean I necessarily believe it either. Guys. No, no, like he, 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 oh man, it's not until like recent times that they're starting to talk about microchipping people and putting that stuff in people's brains. In fact, Elon Musk, I think he's looking for a volunteer to do it if he Carl. hasn't found one by now. Carl. Yeah, Carl Pilkington should be Elon Musk's uh, volunteer for this chip in yep. the brain. Yeah. Um, you know, I, 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 what? No, I, I... Like, the thing is, see, this is what happens. This is what happens when you tell me something that requires either, like, God tier intelligence and knowledge to figure out. You know what I mean? Like, is it possible? Who the fuck knows? Do I have? Does it matter to me? No. Right. Groceries right. are still expensive, so yeah. it doesn't matter right. to me. But that is absolute BS. Because next time I eat crabs, I'm not thinking that I should have just downloaded the crab first. <laughs> I mean, isn't food kind of like the original downloading, or yeah. or is it uploading to a file? And I it's don't know, uploading to my gut, man. Yeah, yeah. Food needs to step it up. No, I'm kidding. But <laughs> what, what? Anyway, I don't even know where we are right now. So <laughs> this is the this is the thing that these Jerface Pilkington merchant things do is they they play games with your mind. It's not just Carl now, it's Ricky. No, it's Ricky, man. No, man. Can't I can't go with them. Can't go with them on this one. Mm -mm. Damn it. Mm -mm. Amazing. So what, 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 what are they doing with us now? Super then? Well, they think this is the this is the upshot. They think they could use it as spy crabs. Because they could <laughs> put these get these crabs. Also, also the other thing is, as generations went on, right? So they'd put a crab in the the sea or something, right? Uh lots of crabs in. And then as generations went on, a, a newborn crab, they downloaded the memory and it had the memories of its great, 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 great all together. It had every memory that any crab had been related to it beforehand. Because it passed it on, it just passed it on. So not even ones that had been eating the, the silicon stuff? Yeah. No, that these, they- These are just like ones that have had kids. Yeah. And they've got like- And they know every- so you'd know everything your great, great, everything right the way back. So would that work if if we ate silicon? Well, well possibly. possibly. So what are they going to? Well, they can it? use them for all sorts of things. Though I mean, that's that's what's incredible. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how you train it particularly. I don't know. It'd be quite tricky to train. But I'm assuming they could if they can if they can do it that way. Then presumably they can It'd give be it like certain loads... silicon information, which yeah. they can then plant in it if you like within it within its sort of food. Also, if you get them onto enemy beaches, it, yeah. you'd have like a thousand digital cameras just yeah, well, taking around. They, they, you could get like you know Osama bin Laden or someone. They just don't. Calling they don't understand saying. the information they've got. No, they they know they're doing it. They just download them. So they're, they're, so they're but not, the, it's the not like the, you could torture them, and they wouldn't be able to sort of give you the information because they wouldn't know what the information they have because they're just. But like the crab, the crab, the crab, the first crab they downloaded, they just kept seeing the same picture of a big crab feeding it, which they <laughs> really, yeah, wow, that's what like its mother crab or something. Yeah, as just, it was memories of it as a child, but they're not in colour presumably. Because no, it's all in black and white. Yeah, black it's and just a digital camera because it's just a, they don't see in black and white, so it's just like a. It's just like a, I don't know, I think it's, it's, I think it's burnt onto the retina or something. And, um, the only one that they kept were the ones they saw a lot of the time. 
Well, I mean, in a way, uh, some of the educating Ricky I've got for you today is, is on the similar lines. Right. Oh, uh, you've got to be impressed by that. You've got to no, be impressed no, no, by that. No, that's pretty good. I mean, I'd, I'd, I'm interested to see, you know, wh what they do what with they it. Do, what they do with the, what the crowd developments are. But yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's, pr that's pretty good. Yeah. But, I mean, amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Well, just digest just... that information, because that's not even the most impressive one we found. I think it is. I suppose it's pretty impressive, but the next one's more, maybe more shocking. Okay. Right. Well, let's start tuning, and Ricky's got another extraordinary okay. thing. Uh, the, the whole generations mm. thing, I'm, I'm still not buying that. Yeah, I mean, I would need, like, a effing scientist in the lab. Like, Daniel, come here. This is what we've been doing for the past 20 years. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not like... I then I'm like, fair enough. Yeah, not Ricky Gervais, aka not Ricky Gervais. You know, a comedian, a radio disc jockey. You know, and oh. this is this is the time. I mean, that reference, that Osama bin Laden reference. I'm like, okay, this is old, very old. So, so yeah, I don't know how relevant or or correct his information was on the on the old resources that we used to have on the internet floating around. Yeah, that internet I mean, was still, it was yeah. still the wild wild, it was, wild wild west back then. Yeah, I mean it, it's still it's still the same now. It's probably even worse now. But there were there's a lot well, anyway. A lot more skepticism. Yes, yes, man. Mm -hmm. The Cure love song classic on XFM. So that's the that's the crab that can you can download their memories. But, um, but what about other animals that are in the sea, in that same sea, eating the stuff? Have they tested them yet? I don't know. I think it, they just took it on because their, um, biology, uh, has something to do with, I presume they could take up minerals and, you know, I don't know why. I don't know. But anyway, um, next one, uh, it's just on Horizons, um, uh, a bodybuilder, yeah? Um, uh, this married, is freaky. Had another bodybuilder, married another bodybuilder, yeah. right? And they were pregnant. And um, they had these tests, and the baby was very large, but it was causing it pain, right? In the thing, right? And it, after a, this, it is, is, this is, it's is, almost bizarre. In, like, yeah, after the 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 female woke up pregnant after seven months, and the baby was had, walking around. No, it forced its way out of the vagina. Oh no way! Yeah, it forced its oh way my out, God. and it was because it, it, it almost off. had like super strength, like, and it was pulling her along by the umbilical cord, and that, uh, and it was, it was, it was a stone. Extraordinary. That no, that's freaky. I mean, because you talk it, about yeah. freaky stuff. That's made up. What? It wasn't pulling her along. It yeah, was. Well, no, it was pulling. She could yeah. feel it exactly. And it was. Do you know what I mean? Like, just went. And just sort of squeezed it. Just got out because it was it's ready. Because all the hormones. Because it thought stuff. it was ready. Oh god! Imagine that. Just waking up and finding that in the bottom of the bed. Freak out, wouldn't it? Because you'd think it was a nightmare initially. And it had hair and everything, didn't it? Yeah, because all the hair. hormones. There was like so a hair. Had had a beard. Beard. There was something in the week about um, you know you've got test tube babies and that now, haven't you? Mm. But they've they've managed to do it. I only caught. Half I knew he'd be more impressed by the crabs than that. He doesn't care if it's no, no, human. no. I am. I'm but telling you. I'm telling you though on. that um, there was something. I only caught half the story because it was busy. But uh, there's something about babies being able to be born without having any people involved. For me, it's like putting them in an oven or something, and it's like a cake. <laughs> <laughs> and after a certain amount of time, it's ready. I, I remember buying those in Argos for kids. <laughs> it's, it's my first baby kit. Yeah. 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 It's Play-Doh, I think, that they can buy. <laughs> yeah. So well, what do you think of that then? The baby one. Yeah. I, I prefer the crab one. Yeah. But the baby, I mean the baby thing's pretty, pretty horrible. Yeah. yeah. So it was bigger than the, than, like the average. But, um, yeah. Um, both made up, we made those up. Yeah, both, they're both rubbish. They're both I mean bullshit. they are both rubbish. Despite the fact they're both rubbish. Yeah. They're interesting. We made those up. Both those stupid <laughs> stories up. <laughs> and Carl was buying them. <laughs> Fell for them hook, line, yeah. and sinker. What? Oh man, the, like she just woke up, the baby just ripped out like some fucking alien. Yeah, and it was that. it was one stone, which I just quickly googled is fourteen pounds. Yeah, no. Yeah, I love I love that. Come at come at our little our our little weight weights and measure system here when you guys use stones. Come on. <laughs> I was just gonna say I, either. A baby that big could only be made by either two extreme bodybuilders or 
it was conceived next to a nuclear power plant. Yeah, one hundred percent. Now, now, but it it see Carl's mind like when you talk about animals, something happens to him. Like he just <laughs> is like, yes, yes, humans doesn't give a shit. Yeah, just does just, just <coughs> doesn't care about humans. He only mm. cares about animals specifically bugs because yep. crabs are technically bugs yeah they're sea bugs so yep. kind of goes along with the theme I, yeah so okay fair enough so they're just trying to bullshit uh bullshit carl there yeah successfully yeah yeah <laughs> they're oh, dicks no. they're totally they are dicks. they are but they're 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 just they have a perfect like i love how they're like does anyone even listen to the show and Carl's like, I'll get it back out. You know, I'll get on that. Like, it doesn't matter to him. They're yeah. just have. And you know what? <clears throat> Was this like pre-podcast? Did they invent the podcast? Is that because this is what it is? It definitely was pre-Ricky Gervais show. Because like, you know, like this was around 2002, mm -hmm. 2003, around that time that all these clips are coming from. Wow. So they yeah. just, they just, because they, they hit it on the head. It's yeah. not. It's not for the it's not for the listener. It's for the absorber like kind of of mm -hmm. of of entertainment kind of thing. Does that make right. any sense? You know, it's kind of like what we do where we're just chit-chatting and then we'll just upload kind of like that, like this exact thing. Yeah, yeah, this is literally that thing Crazy. 22 years later. Crazy, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, imagine downloading a crab's memories and seeing his mum feeding it as a child. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I had trouble, I had trouble. Yeah. I knew I was going to have trouble with um, pushed its way out of the vagina. <laughs> yeah. I practiced that about 30 times yesterday with Stephen. I was going, I'm not going to be able to do it, mate. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to say that. Yeah. <laughs> Are you disappointed? A little bit. I, I mean, the baby one's a bit <laughs> sort of out there. Yeah, I wasn't really having having that one. No. But, the, but the crab one. Mm. Um... See, now what's interesting, I think, is it's a useful experiment, Carl. <laughs> I don't know what it's taught you about yourself, <laughs> but would you say that that's revealed to you a certain thing? I don't know, maybe that you're a bit gullible. <laughs> I mean, you know, what I'm saying is maybe you shouldn't accept or swallow ho your hook, line, and sinker everything you read on the web. <laughs> Not think maybe a valuable lesson I there. feel bad because I, I feel I said to Steve, he won't be annoyed that we conned him, he'd be annoyed that they're actually not true. You'd love that crab thing to be true, wouldn't you? It wouldn't surprise me if it did happen one day. Sure. Yeah. So I'm yeah. to laugh at it. And in the right when I said about the crabs, you know, well, I'm keeping them then. Yeah. It's yeah. Cute, yeah. Right, well, I, I know what you're getting at. <laughs> with the uh with the educating Ricky, but you know. Let's see, let's see. You've got, uh, three titles. Yeah. Uh, that I tease you with, different stories, you take your pick and I teach you something, that yeah. did happen. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of venom. Uh, yeah, go so on. This one is, um, don't rub it too hard, you'll get a rasher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet that's bacon related, knowing you. You've got, uh, <laughs> you've got enough is anus. Say that again. Enough Wait. is an anus. <laughs> enough is enough. Well. But it's changed to enough. Enough is anus. <laughs> Enough is anus. Uh, <laughs> I needed to work a little bit, at least 15 more seconds harder on that one. Yeah, yeah, anything. Like, uh, I, I don't even I, have a joke. I, I, I don't one. even have one either. Yeah. But, man. <laughs> enough is, enough is an anus. <laughs> yeah. And okay. you've got, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've also got, will it, will it be a bloke? Oh, oh, no. Will it like a bloke or a woman? What? Will it like a bloke or a woman? Will it? Yeah. <laughs> will it like a bloke or a woman? <laughs> wow. Yeah, so there you, there are your three stories okay. today. Okay, sounds exciting. Okay, well, I'll have so, will it, will well, it like... We're gonna play a record, eh, Rick, surely? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. And, uh, and come back with Sorry the, about the crowd and the big baby. It's a valuable lesson, really. I'm thinking of a title for him. <laughs> yeah, Oasis. Um, the Hindu Times. Carl just did his little screen test down the lens. And, uh, <laughs> he went, to, said, just look at the camera. He went, right, do you want to know about MTV? So it might be VH1. He went, right. He did Rockbusters. Then after the break, some Genesis. 
Oh, oh, I Oh. You didn't tell me she wanted all this. I thought you said because I said you just bring your own camera in mm. and we'll put it down on some tape and pass that on to her. Yeah. yeah. So now this I'm doing two jobs at once again. This is what I'm saying to you in the week. <laughs> I'm juggling jobs all the time. <laughs> I'm. Oh, I tell you. Right, come on then. How much do I get? <laughs> <laughs> he looked straight at the camera and said that. Right. <laughs> so um. <laughs> Three stories, don't rub it too hard, you'll get a rasher. Yeah, Enough is that. a nurse. And, uh... <laughs> and, uh, we'll have that one then. That one? Yeah. Richard Ashcroft, Science of Silence on XFM 104.9. I love that. Yes, yeah, He's one of my favourite artists now. I just think, uh, I, just think so, I, I don't know why he's not ballistic. Mm -hmm. He's got everything. He's like one of our best rock stars. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm Ricky Gervais. <laughs> Hello there. You're Steve Merchant. I am indeed. Uh, Carl Pilkington over there. Big day today. Really? Yeah, for Carl. <laughs> He hasn't been looking forward to it. He's been whinging in the week. A couple of things. He thinks he's overworked. He thinks he, he thinks he's, uh, overworked here and he's stressed and he's got to do DIY. MTV are coming in, in, right, to give him the chance of his li a, a lifetime to do a, just a, a little uh, screen test and he's going, well, I'm not going to look good, am I? They're not going to have a wise head. Well, I've got a round head and I'll be wearing headphones. <laughs> and, uh, he's, he's not made an effort. He thinks, oh, they'll put them off. He said, they won't even press record. He's got a spot on his head. Uh huh. Uh huh. I mean, you yeah. know, I mean, also, Carl, you're not looking forward to it. You're not excited about it. It's a great opportunity. Why is it a great opportunity? Why to get not? on MTV. No, but it's look money for all group, isn't it? Yeah, but look what's happened to people like um, Jeremy Speak, whatever his name is, and all Jeremy Speak, yeah, yeah, and um, yeah, slightly different, slightly different. Why is it? Well, See? Y y you're you're making it in the industry, and you've got you've got something to give. He he happened to be around when they were filming an airport. <laughs> no, Do well. you see the difference? All right, the other one then, who's on a boat. Jamie Same Dottie. thing, although at least she had a well. skill. She had a skill, you know, she she can sing, you know. Well, it's just, it's just I, d I, d I think it can all go wrong, do you know what I mean? Well, of course it can. So can sitting in your little room moaning about nothing happening in the world. <laughs> you know, he, he wanted to stop educating Ricky because nothing had happened. He said, he said, look what happened last week. I scoured the net, he said, all I found was a dog in a car wash and a parrot and a vicar. Uh -huh. right? I'll tell yeah. you what, there ain't much more going on this week. We're well, talking. Sh well, listen, me and Steve, yesterday, we took a day off to prove you wrong, and we've come up with two of the most incredible things I told you about, and they're amazing. <laughs> so there are things out there. Or is it just, ju but just go for truth. Go for truth and science yeah, yeah, and discovery. The fact is, is strange than fiction. You don't have to resert, uh, revert to oh, sort of yeah. like God and ghosts. I know, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But the funny thing is, you know, like, Last couple of weeks I've been saying there's not much going on. Yeah. I found out when I was looking that there was a day in 1930, right? It right. was a good Friday. There was no news. There was nothing going on. They had to put a music video on or something on the telly. Because there was nothing going on. <laughs> play a record. We're going to play some classic tracks today. This is, uh, Debaser. Pixies, Debaser. I was looking. So, hey. so, so is he trying to get rid of the whole educating Ricky thing? I don't we know. Didn't, he, we didn't see any of those three stories, you know. No. Uh, anus, whatever that was. I, I've forgotten now. Well, enough is an anus. <laughs> enough is in that, and enough is anus. Yeah. Um. And then the two other ones, I can't remember them. Well, that would be awesome to live in a time like that, where the news is like, "What are you guys doing here? Go outside. It's a nice day." Yeah, there's nothing yeah. happening here. Mm -hmm. Go make something happen. Damn it. Un unplug and <laughs> yeah. go do something legendary. Yeah, we need to report Wait. on shit. So do something. Mm hmm. Yeah. Sorry, that's your line. I, I didn't oh. mean to steal your line. No, it's all right, man. It's not trademarked. This <laughs> is, we're still within the umbrella of forgiveness here. All we're right. Embrace the suck and and our 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 network of other <laughs> other channels. Yes. Link down in the description for when this. Reaction channel tanks inevitably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Goodness gracious. <sighs> looking forward to playing that. Came and said, Carl, I'll play that. I was looking, uh, he put it on. Uh, Lauren just called through and said, We played that in the last half hour. Embarrassing. Oh, uh, yeah. So, it's what really is the point of having a producer if he doesn't look, check things out? So, I mean, it's a good track. I mean, I'm sorry if you heard that twice right. in the last hour. Go so on, go on, listen, 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 to, listen to everything all the time. Twice? I've been running around again. Twice in one hour. Holy crap, that's like a big no no then. Yeah, yeah. That's a uh, payola in the old ye olden uh times of radio. Yeah. You know, you you bought you ages ago. Ages oh, ago, man. yes. I 
the fifties. Sorry. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. One job. Don't repeat the songs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure there's regulations against that now. Yeah. Yeah. In early on a Saturday, we got in about the same time as me. I, I went out and bought you some biscuits, so you're happy. <laughs> I put the coffee on. Yeah. I've sorted what prizes we're going to give away. I've been running to the library getting you certain tracks. Yeah. I can't listen all the time. I'm doing my best. Oh, I'm not sure it's good enough. Tom. <laughs> I mean, I'm worried when MTV come in if they've heard this kind of shoddy production, they're going to start to well, wonder MTV what you're playing other... the same songs every five yeah, minutes. Yeah, no, anyway, sorry, are you sort of overworked because you were on Zoe Ball <laughs> show talking? Oh, hello, what's going on here? Well, I was, I was, I was in. The, he was no, exclusively was in the, uh, on our show. No, I was in. I, the, the, I seem to remember Rick. He was. He was a nobody. Yeah. That got a chance to come on air and talk about that. And guess what? He was getting auditions guess for what, MTV. Guess what he was talking about on Zoe's show? Oh, hello. All the jellyfish stuff and all that about getting stuff. Believe it. Recycling. Yeah. Material that you've done on this show. I phoned in. I phoned in, right, and I went, stop doing materials. I was boy. He just hung up on me. I thought I had a job to do. Who do you think you are? Your Look, ego has just gone through Hang the on room. a minute, hang on a minute. What? I had a job to do in the week. They asked me to drive the desk for Zoe, right? They didn't Zoe, say talk. Zoe, yes. if she talks to you, you don't- you can't just ignore her. Yes, you can. But you Who can't. is she? <laughs> Uh, Who does um, she think she is? <laughs> you made a promise to us, a pact, that you were our kind of yeah. monkey. Yeah. What, what I I do? <laughs> if someone takes time off, I've got to do it. It's my job. Yeah, but you don't it's have not to your talk. job. You don't have to use. You're oh. the head of production. We've given you this special gig. This is like taking you out weekends. Yeah, and exactly. The, you know, if we find out you're getting too much excitement in the week, we'll have to just calm it down. Yeah. Get another little. Well, that's it now. Anyway, it was only last week. <laughs> I, d I you know, I feel like kind of solid. I feel betrayed. It's like you were having an affair behind our back. Yeah. It's, and you rumbled it. He was doing all the stuff. He was doing all his like, oh yeah, jellyfish and this, jellyfish Yeah, because that. she was asking. And I thought it was a good way of promoting this show, actually. Oh, oh did you mention this show? Yeah, I did at some point. <laughs> did you? What did you say? I just said, uh, more about that on Saturday afternoons. So you talk twice? I only heard you talk once. So you're talking all the time? Well, about five times in the week. <laughs> in the full week. Five times. Theory. Right? Me. And one, it was just stuff. You could never be a monk, could you? Chatting away all the yeah. time. Right, what have we got? I play ball as well, to be honest. <laughs> I feel ball's slightly responsible for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She can't find her own, you know, gibbon to get on the show. <laughs> yeah. She can't find her own kind of, you know, loser, then don't start stealing ours. <laughs> yeah. Outrageous. Well, coming up. Right, yeah. Got Maybe we'll get Fat Boy Slim in. Indeed. Next. Yeah. Saturday, if you're listening, um, Slim, yeah. come in on the show. What's his name? Ernie or something? <laughs> What's his name? Norman. Norman. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Ernie! Yeah. Oh, that's great. Ernie Ball. Yeah. Uh, he really wouldn't change Ernie's his name. Ernie. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. that's yeah. great. Anyway, Go coming on. up today, uh, we have got Educating Ricky. Right, yeah. Okay. Is this the last Couple. one? You've promised it might be. Um, I believe there's a book out that might help me with this feature, okay. so we'll see how it goes. We might- I was thinking of new features in the week. I've got, um, <laughs> I wanted to come up with a what to do celebrity fact club. Celebrity fact club. All right. That's, uh, I've just got to get some celebrities in first okay. before we can kick that <laughs> off. So maybe in the new year. Ball and maybe cook. Zoe Ball. Yeah. Ball yeah. and cook. Yeah, Start right. off. Maybe. Right. And I've also got. What a key ingredient: needing yeah. celebrities for a celebrity fact book. Um. Yes. Definitely get celebrities for a cele. <laughs> <laughs> this, fucking... this guy. Uh it it just amazes me. Like I am I am so I am like I'm just astonished. <laughs> I feel like Carl Pilkington right is just the most and I don't mean this in any derogatory 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 form. He is the most ordinary of ordinary. Yeah. Put into an extraordinary position. That's probably what made him famous, was him just being a normal dude in a uh, not-so-normal yeah. setting. Yep. Yep. And that's like, Carl's, Carl being normal is the, is, is the, the whole draw of this whole thing, because Ricky, Steve Merchant, they're they're stars, right? They they do big things. Yeah, yeah. And here's him just having these stars have to. He forces them to like come down, and yeah. it's like 
hey, hey, you want to be normal? Well, all right, here we go. Here we go. And it's just so mind blowing <laughs> to these guys. The both of us have just psychoanalyzed this trio, particularly uh, Carl Pilkington, so much. I I feel like somewhere out on the internet there was someone that is uh, uh, us put a video of us trying to figure out Carl Pilkington. Oh if my there God. isn't been already, someone needs to do that. I'll watch it. Yeah, I'll watch <laughs> it. I'll sub because my God, we have we have been awestruck, were gob smacked, and and huffled whatever. I don't know what I'm running out of words. Let's Huffle fucked. <laughs> Not to be confused with the Harry Potter thing. All right. Yes. <laughs> Right, yeah, cool. everybody, y'all can use that word <laughs> going forward in ETS 21. Huffle fucked. Huffle fucked. Oh, man. And obey rule 34 when using that, by the way. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> this is what Carl does to us. Every time, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> Oh, um, and ball stories. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's nice. Come on, cheers. Yeah. Uh, Thanks, Carl. Yeah. Maybe you could sell that to Zoe Show. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm also thinking through the Ricky hole. Through the Ricky hole. Okay, what's yeah, that? That's uh, I'm quite. No, you just got the title again, haven't you? Yeah. 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 Okay, play record. So uh, Rockbuster's <laughs> yeah. coming up as well. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Wu Tang Clan, Gravel Pit on XFM 104.9. We're playing some great music today. Yeah, I wonder if we should maybe, uh, you know, it's getting towards Christmas to yeah. think about this. Should we dedicate the show to all the people in the world who maybe are less privileged and less uh, fortunate than us? No. No? Um, okay. Have you, uh, to do the prizes for the, uh. Prizes? Okay. All right, so screw those <laughs> who are less fortunate, is what TV's Ricky Gervais <laughs> thinks. Um, Rick, I know you're a big fan, uh, of the likes of Brian Adams, <laughs> Robert Palmer, <laughs> uh, Alien Ant Farm, and, uh, obviously, uh, um, ZZ Top. Yeah. And so you'll be enjoying the best air guitar album in the world Brilliant. ever, volume two. Yeah, sure. Fantastic. Well, volume one <laughs> wasn't enough. There wasn't no. enough. Exactly. <laughs> uh, again, <laughs> we've seemed to be able to give one of these away every week. <laughs> are you just not sending these out? I mean, these are the same prizes we started this game with, I think, a couple of weeks back. Are you just not sending the prizes out? Yeah, but I want to give, like, more people a chance, because if, if one week they listen in and think, God, I wouldn't mind winning that. Sure. If you if you've got more copies of it, they'll go. Well, I'll listen next week. Okay. Yeah. 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 So again, this is uh, one of those um, the best songs you've heard on an advert ever. Albums. Main, mainly mobile phones. Mainly mobile phone adverts. Yeah. yeah. Although there is the uh, Smash Mouth <laughs> one, which is used in the Ford Fiesta TV. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Walking on the sun. Oh, I forget what it no. is. Um, uh, the Smashing Pumpkins album that we've given away in the past again. Yeah. I've got a bulk order of those that can't shift them. Um, Wild Weather. I don't know who's interested in this. This what, is, is, that, uh, is that a double box set VHS? They're just shitting on Smashing uh, Pumpkins here. That was a low key burn from Steve Merchant. Was. They're like, we can't shift these. We can't. <laughs> I love that. Oh man, I love that. Uh. Today is not the greatest day he's ever known, no. if he was watching. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like, do we just bulk order these? He's like, yeah, you know. And just reusing gifts. Oh, man. Uh, re oh, God. Yeah. I absolutely love this, man. Fuck. <laughs> like, I would listen to this radio show and then Alan Partridge. That would be a good, good commute to work. Yeah, it would be. That would be. And I would purposely take a job like an hour away. That way I could yep. listen to, to all of it. The whole thing. You know? yeah. Me too, yeah. man. Yeah. Oh, my God. <sighs> it's a different weather. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah there's that uh, is two amazing. cassette tapes there. It's presented How long by is that uh, Donald McIntyre. It's a thrilling trip with the most exciting forces of our wild and turbulent world. So, so Clouds, I'm right in saying it's, it's, it's a double VHS like video tornadoes, set of, of different weather. Yes. Brilliant. Yeah, no, it's got, I mean, it includes the fastest winds, yeah. oh, the hottest desert, joking. um, and the biggest rain machine on the planet. That's oh, on there. I think you have to. Oh, God. I, I wonder if they, I hope they bring it. Bullshit. The biggest rain thing. Like, have uh, they not seen our video, April Fool's 2022? I love, I love that. 
I love that they're out there in the UK. Just, of course, that's the most UK thing to do. If we're not going to talk about weather, we should at least watch the weather. Yeah, and watch film different, it. watch people different people's weather. Yeah, and film it and put it on a VHS and sell it. Yep, I'm sure they know their market. Buy it. Yep, there's, there's somebody in here that has bought that, and if you have <coughs> bought that. You have to leave a like on the video. Yep. Let us know how it was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give us a, a, a review. Nope. Bringing out another box set, soil. Yeah, absolutely. Just goes through different mud. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and this you may be of interest. I've read good reviews of the uh, the DVD of this. It's uh, a two disc set. Uh, the Wicker Man, oh, the classic right. 70s film, film, but yeah. uh, it's got a bunch of extras that in there. So that, quite that's actually worth with... having. I would probably throw the rest away. But uh, the, the Wicker Man, get the bit on DVD, Christmas. and it's, yeah, it's quite very interesting. Yeah, but you'll enjoy that. So, so uh, what, uh, what, what, what this is Rockbusters, is it? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's for Rockbusters. Brilliant. Well, let's let I say get the ball rolling now. What, of Rockbusters? Yeah, get the ball I rolling. I don't know, I mean, tease them, Rick. Don't, you know, don't, cause, you know, don't sort of spunk all the good stuff early on. I mean, well, that's dynamite. You can, you can say spunk, I can't. <laughs> Go well, on. Well, well, we've got, um, actually it's quite good moving it about because we might have some new listeners here. Yeah. And I wouldn't have thought so. Yeah. <laughs> Not after last week. No. Um, <laughs> right, okay, so if you haven't heard it before, I'll give you some initials. It work, you know, it's like initials of an artist or of a it's band. It's Blockbusters. And, and a cryptic clue to who the band is. There's two easy ones, one difficult one. <laughs> uh, first one is, um, that'll never get off the ground. Right. Yeah. That'll never get off the ground. The That'll initial? never get off the ground is the clue. Not LZ. The initials are LZ. You are joking. Two easy ones. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right, and then you've got um, that woman's got her husband's gloves and a pair of her own. Say <laughs> right. it again. That woman has got a pair of her husband's gloves and she's got a pair of her own. That's H H. Right. It's a bit of a difficult one. And then the uh, the last one. You'll get a uh, you'll get a right load of bacon off them, right? You'll get what? A right load of bacon off them. Uh huh. Um, that's L. L. Yeah. So uh, once you'll again, you'll get a right quickly, load of bacon off of them. You'll get you'll get a right load of bacon off them. Uh -huh. So okay, I, only one I'm getting one is the first one, Led Zeppelin. This will never get off the ground. L Z Z yep. Led Zeppelin. The other ones I'm not getting. No, no, I was I was I'm trying to think. I, the, especially the last one. What? No. Yeah. Go on. Wow. Right. So, first one, that'll never get off the ground, LZ. Uh, that woman has got her husband's gloves and she's got a pair of her own. That's <laughs> HH. Brilliant. And uh, you'll get a right load of bacon off them. That's L. And so it's an email only competition. Email only. Uh, Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk and we pick a winner before the end. So, and they can win that, that, win that Wicker Man. The weather. The best video. of the weather. Weather. The best of the weather. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> the best of the weather. As a compilation, Channel yeah, 4. Exactly. Well, the winds we... light to variable. Uh, I, I, I love 1976 Remember weather. this one from August 1979? Oh, it's warm, isn't it? <laughs> oh, this is warm, isn't it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the best God. Of the weather. I'll tell you what. You remember how we always play, like, great music, mm. usually? Mm, mm, mm. You've not, not got another one, you? You're yeah, not going to do that again, yeah, this yeah, week, yeah, 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 This is David Bowie driving Saturday. Oh, yeah, you said it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, in, oh, yeah, I'm in the same problem. I know, beating well, a biscuit. Yeah. Uh, David Bowie driving Saturday. Mm. That's a great track, isn't yeah. it? A crash course for the ravers, eh? That's what this show is, isn't it, Carl? Crash course for the ravers. They tune and they go, yeah. what? That's, that's so cool. I wish I was like Carl Pilkington. You reckon? Yeah, definitely. You forgot to uh, read your mum's clues out, didn't you? Yeah, she's These are just uh, for fun only. This is Carl's mum. She, uh, she listened one week and now she sends him a little example of, uh, Rockbusters every week. She's got, um, what did she send? Um, this group would go well with your Christmas dinner. Cranberries? Yeah. Um, they make a few good cupboards. They what? make a few good cupboards? Yeah. Carpenters. 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 I was thinking of EMF. <laughs> yeah. uh, what else? I was thinking B and Q. The B and Q's. Uh, this group thinks of lots of things. <laughs> this group thinks of lots of things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, go on. Imagination. <laughs> uh, 
I think they're the best ones. <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 they're the best ones. Obviously, one of the worst ones, then. Uh, here's one more. Uh, she'd really like Blackpool. She'd really like Blackpool. She'd really Blackpool. like Blackpool. Fairground attraction. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Right, so, uh, there's, uh, uh... Does she write anything else in the letter? Or does she just send them, like, <laughs> on a scrawled on the back of, you know, I don't know, a till receipt? She did it with the first one, now it's just, just the Rockbusters. Right. So, <laughs> really? She doesn't bother asking how you are, or... I'll speak to her in a week. Right. Phone, so yeah. just, what kind of conversations not... would you have, then, with your What are you stuff? Just do you moan about how I've worked you out and stuff to her? Uh, uh, they just, I mean, they're always surprised when I'm getting in late and that. It's like, you know, what have you done today? Well, I've just got in from work and it's like half past eight at night. A lot of people get home at half eight, Carl. Next. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> just saying, how's the flat going? I was yeah. asking my dad some DIY tips the other day. Mm. Um, you know, usual sort of stuff mm. you talk with your mum and dad, mm. really. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. talking about the bisons with them. I was with watching, uh, did you watch the mammals in the week? No, I'm David it. Attenborough? No. I was thinking, actually, right, all this MTV stuff, if there's one reason why I'd like to do it, yeah. is I was watching Attenborough, the, the Mammals program, I reckon I could do something like that. <laughs> right. Right. And just have, have like me, instead of Attenborough, like a, you know, a young, sort of fresh person, yeah. uh, watching, like, um, certain animals and saying, do we need these? <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Going death on earth. Foreshadowing. I love that. Do we need those? Do we need those animals? Oh, dude. I would watch the hell out of that program. I mean, I would watch the hell out of that program. I mean, didn't we kind of already do that with Idiot Abroad? Well, we. No. <sighs> Kind of, but not with animals. Those are more important places. Yeah, right? yeah, people, people. Yeah. yeah, not like a nature show. I would like, love to be on Animal Planet, at, or if that's even still a channel. But like, you know, dressed up like Steve Irwin, and just be like, here's the jellyfish. This is what it does. And at the end of all of it, like, do we really need it? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I would. I would die. That would be the best nature show out there. Yeah. Only next to Snoop Dogg's uh, yes. nature show. <laughs> yes. I would I would watch the hell out of that if someone made that. Yeah. You know, I mean, obviously it'd be it'd be tongue in cheek and satirical, but still, I would absolutely I would I would love that. Fuck it. We'll we'll do one. We'll make one. <laughs> We'll make one. Do we yep. need that animal? <laughs> do we need that animal? Let me know if you guys want that, because we'll, we'll we'll do that. Yeah, that's gonna be our next project. Our next project. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Do we need these? No, because there's loads of stuff. And the audience at home would vote. Would there be some kind of yeah, telephone like a vote out system? Uh, yeah, the that. thing is, is yeah. like, I, it's something interesting that Amber was saying the other night. <laughs> on, uh, <laughs> On Jonathan Ross's show, on his telly show, right, he was saying, uh, he said, you could take all the humans off the earth and it would carry on, but take, like, some animals off it, mammals and that, you've got problems on your hands. Mm. I thought that was quite interesting. Yeah. So it's like, the question is, do we need these? Is that part of the big thing? Right. Like jellyfish. Yeah. We've talked about jellyfish. Yeah. Yeah. So which mammals in particular were you, you talked about on the Bull show, haven't you? Hey. Which mammals uh, were you thinking we don't need when you watched the show the other night? Um, Any in particular that you thought they don't need them? They're not of interest. Well, I like I like whales, but I don't know what they do. Uh, uh, and okay. they're, they're taking up quite a lot of room. Sure. Um, <laughs> but stuff like, <laughs> yeah. but like um, jellyfish, I looked into because yeah, you know well, what I was talking them. about them, yeah. and um, they were saying they've got no eyes, no art. <laughs> uh, they're something like ninety-seven percent water. Yeah. Um, <laughs> They're blind, and they do about 33 miles a day. Right. So it's like, do we need them? Could we clear them out? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, a big net. That would that would be the, the program. What? What? Right. We'll get rid of them. Uh, next week we'll be looking at. Uh, My news. <laughs> it's genius. Yeah. Honestly, I think it's genius. And like going along, sort of like picking up sea enemies and going and just lobbing them into the sea. 
Well, what do you think about MTV doing that? And then I, I just, in between the bits, play music I play music related, related to, to fish, so I could play like fish. <laughs> yeah. That rock guy. Or, uh, the rock, animals. Rock lobster. Rock yeah. lobster. Or, uh, yeah. what else could this I get could run there? and run. What, what other songs have got animals in it? <laughs> Um, I don't know. Maybe MTV would have survived if that's how it was. Maybe, man. Oh, my God. I would have watched the hell out of that. Oh, I'm so mad. I would have watched the hell out of that show. Yeah. I mean, it, it beats the hell out of, you know, 24 hours of ridiculousness and all the yeah. shores, Jersey Shore Family Vacation, all the ones that the, I know because of my, my ex- who was into that Man, stuff? Absolutely all the shores, but but like, uh, it would piss off so many people. <laughs> so many people talk about like the, the it'd be like the anti nature community. Mm. You know, it would be like, how dare you? Could you imagine? Uh, you're just on a on a public platform. Like, do we really need jellyfish? And then always. There's some guy with a bow tie with round glasses in the back. Actually, and like, ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I can sit over. down. That, yeah. That's who would be in the back. The fucking, oh, in-house jelly, jellyfish expert. Like, get out of here. But I would, I would, fuck it. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's ruffling feathers. I would do it. In fact, if, if I'll do some more research after this, if it's not been done, I want to add my voice over to some, some of these nature programs and we're going <laughs> to, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Are you still kind of salty from how that get not getting swallowed by a whale thing? Dude, I'm still mad. Terrible? I am still so mad. I am so hurt. I'm so hurt. Cause that was like the funniest thing that we've ever checked out like, because <laughs> They were so serious about it, and it was all satire to me. I'm like, there's no way you can be this dead serious about it. <laughs> and that's what made it so funny. And that was the video that just absolutely tanked. Yeah. Ugh. Seriously. Come on, guys. Do better. I'm about to put that on mine. Fuck it. Anyway. Yeah, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. <laughs> and I did nothing. All 300 of you that watched that, or all 150 watch you. Because I, I watched at least 150 times. So. <laughs> All right, coming soon, Darius <sighs> in the Nation, or whatever channel you decide to put it on. No, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'll make another one. All right, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just make another one. That's all I'll do. <laughs> just, just keep making them. Yeah, God damn it, Darius review stuff. There you go. Yeah, that's that? all I do. Yeah, there, 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 there you go. go. <laughs> uh, links down in the description. If we didn't say it already. Uh, oh man. Well, the yeah, there's about a million, so let's not start this. No, yeah. but do you know yeah. what I mean? So, 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 but, so, do we need this? So MTV carpet. flies you around the world and to the most incredible exotic locations. <laughs> you sort of climb up a tree or whatever, and next to I don't know what lives up a tree, or some kind of rare parrot. <laughs> you say, look sloth. at that, it's colourful, sloth. it's interesting. Oh, you like sloth, so don't you? No, they just live up trees, but I'd say, do we need them? Mm. Why? Well, what do they do? What do you mean, what do they do? What do you want from an animal? Carpentry. What well, do you like, want? I don't, I don't like scorpions, right? Right. But then I found out they look after those, uh, those monkey things. They're not monkeys, they're whatever. lizards! Well, Alright, yeah, them lizards. They look after the lizards. <laughs> look so them. there's a reason. But, but do you need the lizard? Could be well, your next yeah, question. because the local people made shoes out of them. But not when the scorpion protected them, they didn't. Alright, we don't need them then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, and so ultimately, you, would anyone decide? I mean, do the animals kind of get a chance to mount a case for their survival? I mean, is there maybe someone that comes into their yeah, corner yeah, and sort of defends I'd have, them? I'd have like a David Attenborough type character who says, right. well, they do this, and I'll go, yeah, but do we need that doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah. And so what, what does an animal need to do in order for you to feel that it sort of gets a chance of life? I mean, like a pet, like an animal, like a dog maybe, or a cat, I mean, they give a certain affection to its owner. Is that a valid, uh, reason to survive? Not particularly uh, for you. Not really. No, okay. I've been saying that though. Blind people use dogs, so they are useful. So dogs are useful. Farmers Same birds use dogs and save people, don't they? In yeah. the snowy weather. Cats. I'd have to think about it. Okay. Keep the mice down. Yeah, but yeah. you got rent to kill. Okay. So what I'm saying is, <laughs> uh, what I'm saying is something that will affect the world. Right. I think you'll find everything does. I think you'll find everything does. Mm. Except Carl. 
<laughs> I'm not sure what effect he's having on the world. I tell you what, though, Steve. Right? Did you watch the mammals? I did see the mammals. They had uh, they had bison on it. Right. The weirdest looking things you've ever seen. Yeah. They've mm. really again. Got you're on dangerous ground yeah, here, no, Carl. They've really got a. <laughs> it's like decide what you want to look like. Okay. <laughs> it's just a mismatch of stuff. It's got a really big hairy head. Yeah. Um. And like you. Sort of bald at the back. Right. Uh, sort of thinner. Explain someone you went to school with. Oh. <laughs> Was there two of them? Oh, brilliant. <laughs> From he went, just, he said, just look at the camera. He went, right, do you want to know about MTV? He went, well, it might be VH1. He went, right. He did Rockbusters then said, after the break, some Genesis. Oh, oh I watch it. You, oh. didn't, you didn't tell me she wanted all this. I thought you said, because I said, you just bring your own camera in mm. and we'll put it down on some tape and pass that on to her. Yeah. yeah. So now, this, I'm doing two jobs at once again. This is what I'm saying to you in the week. <laughs> I'm juggling jobs all the time. <laughs> I'm, oh, I um, you. Right, come on then. How much do I get? <laughs> <laughs> he looked straight at the camera and said that. Right. <laughs> so, um. <laughs> Three stories, don't rub it too hard, you'll get a rasher. Looking Enough to is a nuss. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, we'll have that one then. That one? Yeah. Right, well, um. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you believe in palm reading and stuff? No. Yes. Sorry, yes. Yep, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot. Yes, of course we do. Mm -hmm. Right, well, there's a fella <laughs> who, um. He, he used to do palm reading. Oh, yeah. But a lot of people, he found that when he went up to him in the street and said, Do you want your palm reading? He was like, A lot of them were like, you know. Oh, I've, I've, you know, I'm a bit ashamed of my nails and stuff because mm. they're a labourer or, or they're a cleaner or mm. something like that. I know a lot of labourers are slightly embarrassed by their nails. <laughs> yeah. No, but yeah. That's, so if look that, at my bloody hands, Reg. <laughs> well, that's that hod carrying. <laughs> did they ever tell you? <laughs> did they ever tell you that I got picked at school to <laughs> make tea and serve biscuits to old people because I've got good nails? <laughs> what? Like, do you really need good nails in order to surf stuff? I mean, you could put gloves on, and most cooks are rough around the edges anyway. So, I'm no, I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Huh? Interesting. I, but uh, trust me, in the in the, I would say in the construction world that I hail from, nails were something you used to put shit into wood. You know, like. Nails, not not your fingernails, right? Like, right. No one gave a shit. Like, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, man. Yeah, there there are tools, uh, in in a sense, not yeah. uh, and yeah. you're not trying to win any beauty contests with no. them. You're you're trying to build a deck from hell. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Yeah. Oh man, that's about it. I mean, it'd be, <laughs> we used to do like I think the ed teacher must have been getting something, maybe getting his mam in there for free or something, and so people's like. <laughs> so, um, so he offered the kids at the school, uh, he said, right, all, all sit at your desk and put your hands on the table. And everyone did. And he walked past me and he said, not bad, not bad. Yeah. And he said, uh, you've got the afternoon off, you can, uh, go and serve biscuits and tea to the old, old people. What did you say? I said, all right then. <coughs> it's good. Yeah. yeah. Good afternoon. But anyway, was so he's, he? yeah, he's, well, what did he do? He just sort of walked around and went, you know, right, uh, do you want bourbons or digestions? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you'd get on with old people, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'd like, love to see- maybe Especially the senile ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but I'd love to see you on VH1, just in a link, and just go, you know, they've just played, uh, um, Robert Palmer, right? And it comes to you in a little park, and you just sit next to an old lady and go, all right? And they go, yeah, not too bad. They go, what do you think of London? Crap, isn't it? And she goes, yeah, it's awful, isn't it? And you just have a talk, and you go, all right, well, she doesn't like it. In excess. Yeah. That's what I'd like to see. Mm. I still think my idea is better. But mm -hmm. So what are you going for, then? Oh, you've picked one, haven't you? <laughs> uh, yeah, so this fella- So there's, so there's, there's palmists going round the streets- Yeah, he's going round- and Randomly trying to give they're palm losing, readings. They're losing money. Right. Hand over fist. Yeah. All right. So, um, <laughs> they said, uh, he, he's what he's done. He's he's reading people's uh, bottoms now. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. He just he just I didn't quite follow that. He was a palm reader that wasn't making money. So now he's going up to people in the street and saying, "Can I see your arse?" Basically, yeah. So from 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 being a palmist to an arsonist. Well, uh, they just 
that's that's what he does. He said the same sort of lines and that that you get on your hand, you get them on your on your bottom, and uh, he can read them. Right. Yeah, he's not a pervert, really. You mean veins? <laughs> the same lines on your hands, <laughs> you get them on your ass. <laughs> Uh, hey. I I oddly believe that that creep exists. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that scam artist man. There are there is no more moral compass. No, so no. They hey, way to be different, dude. Yeah, there's this, a this, there's a palm reader and an ass reader. All right, there you go. Yeah, this isn't you know scamming. It's you know rule thirty four of the internet. Pretty much in in effect for this pervert. Yep. And deserves to be in jail for that particular uh, sect of Roll Thirty Four. <coughs> wow. All mm. <laughs> well, making up as he goes along. No, that's that's it. That was that. So, if, sorry, if a man came up to you in the street, <laughs> can, can I have a look at your ass? Can I read your ass? You you drop your trousers, would you? <laughs> no, no, no. If he went up to him and they said, oh, "I'd rather you didn't," because I'm a labourer, I've got bad fingernails. No, anyway. that's why I see. That's what they. A lot of labourers, they're showing their cleavage, you think, but actually they're having their arse right? <laughs> Absolutely. That's yeah. really a lot of, that's what it is. And then, right, so, so is I'll... that the end of the story? Yeah. But then because- That's it. Educating Ricky is, there's a bloke <laughs> who reads arses. <laughs> no, but You're then, a mentalist. But no, but What then, are you talking about? But then, do you know, like, now and again I come up with a little jokey line, thought yeah. I'd make an effort today for VH1 or MTV. Yeah. yeah. Little line there. Um, <laughs> don't worry, it won't last. It might just be a splash in the pan. Okay. What? Phil Collins next. <laughs> yes, let's play some Phil. Let's play some Phil. <laughs> oh. oh, this is the best show. I mean, off air, obviously. I'm sure people at home aren't enjoying it as much as we are, but Carl uh, is continuing uh, his, uh, what do they call this? A screen test. Mm. Yeah, that was, uh, let down by Radiohead. Carl, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? I what just you think, think it's, it's not right, really, is it? I'm trying to do a job. Yeah. Whilst trying to get another job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? But a lot of your presenters are on MTV now. Yeah, but- They, I, I they, but all of them have got Zayn in their name, but, you know. Yeah, it's not, it's not really right, is it? Go on. But, right, so, uh- You better get that out of here. Carl Zayn Pilkington. Educating Ricky, will we carry on? Yeah. Right, you've got left. Don't rub it too hard, you'll get a rasher. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. will it like fellas or will it like women? Well, you said wool before. Yeah, wool it. Go on then, I've wool it. Right, now this is similar to the one you were talking about before, right? They found out <laughs> that, um. <laughs> they. <laughs> yeah. They. Scientists. Scientists. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've found out. 17th century? That, um, Ages ago. Like now, uh, one in ten rams are gay. <laughs> one in ten rams are gay. Yeah. Yeah. So that was like wool it. That's how I could get that in. Um, <laughs> they got a load of gay and straight rams. Right. right. <laughs> um, they worked out which were which first. They said, right. What is he talking about? I have no idea. I'm still trying to get on this level there. Where <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm just, I just, uh, like, Put it this way, I just got into the room. You know, <laughs> I just got into the room and I'm like, what? So I'm as confused as you are right now. I, I, I'm like, I'm looking at your face, trying to look yeah. at, in, ingest all of this. Yeah. I don't know if you, you need to break, but you forgot our technique or you just are being Carl again. I'm just being Carl, man, constantly. Like the fuck is going on? We're talking about gay rams. All right. It let's let's do it. Hey, but you know what though? There it there aren't that many bugs so far. Nah, not in this half. Yeah, not in this half. Yeah. The only one so far has been a crab. Very and true. That's, yeah. Very true. Gay Rams. That's right. that bunch there is a is a gay bunch. They look better, they just had more pride in their appearance. And uh and the other ones, you know, the straight ones, and then they gave them to this scientist and said, Right, go on, do what you gotta do. And they took the brains out of, of all of them. <laughs> Just to check. Of all and, of them. And um, they did tests on the brain and it worked out that they've got something smaller in the brain. The gay ones have got something in the brain that makes it smaller. And they said, right, well, that's probably how it's going to work on, on males. On, on, like, males and females and, like, humans. So you took from this that gays have smaller brains than straight people? <laughs> no, there's something in the brain. Right, so, if, so if someone's saying, you know, oh, I'm a gay, 
uh, they don't, they're not sure or whatever, they will now be able to find out. <laughs> so you can go to the doctor and <laughs> to find out if you're straight or gay. Is there any gay in my brain? Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. You've got a little bit of a gay in you, yes. A little bit of a gay in there. Yes, you've got the, uh, you've well, got, you've got else? a little bent cell there. Well, that's, that's why they did it, anyway. I don't understand how they, how they could differentiate which were straight and which were gay to begin with before they then gave it to the scientist. Wasn't that what the scientists figured out? <laughs> well, there's, uh, there's, there's, how there's, could they tell? Were there's they one theory that it's genetically children? determined. There is one, <laughs> there is, there is, there is a theory that's genetically determined, but I, I, I don't think it's as easy as, um, uh, pulling a sheep's brain apart and finding a little pink sort of like blob in there going, right, we've taken the guy out, now he's gonna go and shag some ewes. I don't think it's that straightforward. Although, the, uh, uh, homosexuality does occur at uh, a similar sort of rate in animals, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, you yeah. knew that, didn't you? So that's, that's that one. I mean, <laughs> I just like the idea of the farmer figuring out which is straight and gay. Well, <laughs> yeah. that one's wearing quite a camp-looking neckerchief. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah. So I'm thinking maybe yeah. he's gay. Is that, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love the fact they can, uh, okay, uh, that, that was <laughs> that was a big fan of Sophie Ellis Baxter. <laughs> yeah, so... yeah, yeah. They were done, they put on ABBA. And see which ones dance. Exactly. That's yeah. how they. Which one? Yeah. Well, what, yeah. I mean, Put on like Barbra Streisand <laughs> and see which ones sing along. That shit is rubbish. What did I find out? <laughs> what did you, say, did you just say that is rubbish? No, I found out other other stuff in the week that didn't make the top three. Wow. Wow. Um, we haven't even had that. <laughs> Before we get to that, oh man, different oh, times, man. Different oh, times. Love that. Put on Barbra Streisand. Uh, like, med- I, 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 whatever. I just that. I, so the farmer basically killed all of his rams. Yeah, just to see which ones were gay <laughs> and which ones were straight. <laughs> Way to go, dude! Like what? <laughs> uh, some were gay, some were straight. Mm-hmm. You know how we had to do this? Kill them all, <laughs> take their brains out, and let's study them. Like, well, I need some rams. <laughs> Bro, like it's part of my it's my job. I'm a farmer of 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 I guess sheep and rams. And now mm. you took all my rams. Now I can't have more sheep. <laughs> like, <sighs> I mean, it made some pretty darn good clothing and made for some good lamb kebabs. You know? <laughs> yeah, ram. I don't even think ram kebabs. <laughs> ram kebabs <laughs> doesn't have the right ring to it, dude. Mm-mm. No. <laughs> It has a terrible ring to it. Ram kebab. <laughs> Say, no, thank you. I'm going to pass on that. Uh, oh, man. I was trying to m- make some joke about uh, Dodge Rams, Hemi. I-, I can't think of one. <laughs> <laughs> but I-, I got you. It fits. Yeah. It fits. Yeah. It fits. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. We'll just keep trucking along now. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I had to get one. I'm sorry. You had to. You had you to have a win. I am. You got to have a win. Got to. Yeah, yeah man. <sighs> this no. must be mediocre stuff. Then. This must be really bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, or it might be dubious. Go on. There's um there's a woman in Ireland yeah. who has been with a fella for 11 years. Yeah. Um, she always saying to him, you know, when 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 are we going to get married and that? And he's like, oh, we don't need to. Uh, you know, we're happy and that, you know, like I am with Suzanne, it's like, there's no point, really. Yeah, Unless yeah, you no. have a kid, I don't think you need to, do you? Right. So, um, he was like, we'll do it in time, in time and all that. Anyway, he comes home from work one day, says, oh, go on, then we'll get married. She was so shocked, her hair fell out. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that? Wow. So that's <laughs> extraordinary. <laughs> what did he say? Oh, I'm not marrying you, Baldy. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> she was so she was so shocked her hair fell out. Yeah. I love the idea of it just going yeah, to it the just ground. Fell out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what else? That right, that's rubbish. That that's rubbish. That's that, rubbish. That that's rubbish. That's rubbish. Next, you've also got. Um, it's weird, name? isn't it, Rick? That the stories <laughs> that we made up are more plausible <laughs> yeah. than the facts. Yeah, he's actually giving I think us. we tried too hard. <laughs> I think we tried yeah, to that's be- what he's willing to believe. He's willing to believe <laughs> that a woman's hair fell out when her husband came out and said, let's get married then. Yeah. Oh, you old romantic. <laughs> <laughs> well, now then, here's a good one. Go on then. Right, yeah. in Dubai, this woman went to Dubai for her holiday. Mm. And, um, she was over there, and apparently in the markets- they, sell, buy spider? They, they sell lizards. Oh, go on. Right, just like for people to buy. Mm. So mm. she buys <laughs> one, mm. not knowing that you're not really meant to take him out of the country. Sure. Um, puts it in a bag. Yeah. Uh, As you do. What have you? 
And, um, then she gets to the airport when she's going home, she's thinking, I can't really leave it in my bag. Yeah. So she puts it on her head. On wears, her head? Wears it as a hat. <laughs> she wore the lizard as a hat? Yeah. Um, <laughs> people on the plane were just like, yeah, everything's fine, you know, they're doing their cross checks and that. Yeah. Have you got your seatbelt on? Yeah. There's a woman great. there with a the lizard hat. Um, <laughs> everything's going well. She gets off the plane at Manchester airport, um, lizard sticks its tongue out. Yeah. The air hostess says, what are you doing with that? She goes, I've had it. I've had it. Lizard said, I just found her in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, they said, I've had this with me all, all journey. And they said, well, you shouldn't have done. And they took it off her. Yeah, I think that is true, actually. Yeah? Yeah. So what about that? Yeah, good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That educated me. <laughs> right, what, any more? Well, what's that taught you? That's taught you, you know, be careful when smuggling lizards <laughs> yeah. back, uh, some kind of hat. Yeah, don't, just say, lizard, keep your tongue in, you <laughs> exactly. twat. Uh, Not at the customs officer! <laughs> yeah. And, uh, what else have anyone, we asked? Anyone didn't quite make it? <laughs> Anything we, to declare? We, we, oh, <laughs> I've, got, I've got a lizard on my head. <laughs> We've got an old saying one if you want that. Go on then. Are these ones, sorry, are these ones that d didn't make the list? These are ones that didn't make it. Oh, yeah. right, okay. Because I always, I always get more in than, than I need to, just in case. Just think if someone's just tuned in now. Mm. Is Anders listening? Is, uh, well, I'll tell you, Dickie Anderson. Anderson. I've, got a, uh, I've got an email from Richard Anderson, uh, Dickie Anderson. Uh, go on. Uh, the dick machine, which. <laughs> the big dick, the big dick, which. Yeah. Uh, now, this is interesting. It's, I mean, I think we're wearing him down. Ricky, I think your show might be improving. Go on. That sense of despair and loneliness I normally feel when listening to your show doesn't seem so bad today. He's desensitized to it. Yeah, exactly. Always given up. Him down. Always <laughs> just given up. Yeah. 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 I mean, you listen to this long enough and your standards will drop. Let's play the tune. Let's come back with some more Kyle's, uh, Yeah. I don't, you... I don't want to use the word facts. No. <laughs> 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 He's got more screen testing now. The camera's ready for you. Yeah. Feeder. Just... <laughs> some of the outtakes are, yeah, they deserve to be outtakes, I think. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my god, dude! What the shit? I love that the like facts. The, we can't call these facts. No, we can't call no. these facts. Just, just they're, they're Carlisms. Like, yeah, the term <sighs> alternative facts had not re reared its ugly head yet. No, no, it has not. It had not. Yeah, but it was. It was definitely. He was definitely ahead of his time. Yeah. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Like, did, where did he get? Like, that's my thing. I try to plug myself in as like Carl. Where do where am I absorbing this shit? Internet, but which where? Like where? Uh, what part of the internet? Uh, you know, I would have to look for that story to find it. It's not boom. Yeah, yeah. You know what? And, and uh, you know what? Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. What are you gonna look this up? No. Okay. What are you? What are you gonna? All do? right. So I just I just opened up my internet. Right browser, ready? All right. This is, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to pull a, a Carl right here. This is how easy it is. Shimmering mole spotted for the first time in nearly 100 years. What? Okay. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Everything else is is, yeah, everything else is political. That, oh but but God. other than that, boom. Guess what? Yeah, that's that's right there. Top. That made the top news. That made the top news. Shimmering mole. <laughs> animal. Animal. <laughs> what the uh, fuck, man? Spotted for the first time in 100 years. Isn't that crazy? Uh, Let's wow. talk about it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, uh, what I'm not clicking that. Huh? No, no. I, I'm not going to click it. I'm not, but I'm just saying that's, see, like, uh, never mind. I guess I just proved, I disproved my point, how easy that was. <laughs> I just, I basically, yourself. I just carled myself. <laughs> <laughs> now, guess what I'm doing? As soon as we're done, I'm going to click that. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is there a shimmering mole? Like, anyway, anyway, that's, oh. see how easy it is? Once you've been beaten down by this, <laughs> this trio, mm. it shouldn't, it shouldn't pique my interest the way it just did. So, but it anyway, is. so, okay, never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it is we're pretty easy. It is pretty kicking, easy to do that. We're kicking this year off strong, man. <laughs> twenty twenty four is gonna be our year. Fucking <laughs> shimmering mole. I'm there for it, man. This this is why I'm doing this traveling, not you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, 
Well, I'm feeling that's my favourite feed attack ever. Oh, uh, it's, it's bugging me. It's just like, um, a ride track from about ten or fifteen years ago. Mm -hmm. So if if you know, put me out my misery. Email in. It's just like a ride track from about 1990, and I can't. It's just the beginning. Uh huh. Drive me mental. Ricky Gervais at xfm.co.uk. Yeah, well, uh, half hour to go. You've yeah. done your screen test. Yeah. Reluctantly. Well, I think you I think you had just such the wrong attitude. Well, it doesn't matter, does it? If, I've told you before, if things are meant to be, right, they'll happen. That's yeah. how I've got through my life, right? I'm 29 now. Yeah. Never found it. Well, yeah. 30, you've got the camera still on. <laughs> <laughs> right? So. <clears throat> and everything I've done in my life, I've never sort of planned it. Do you know Is what that I mean? how you stormed through your uh, your exams? Well, look, <laughs> your look, at, look at the <laughs> look at the school play doing little donkey. I yeah. wasn't planning that day sure. to do the drums. It just on the night I couldn't help myself. And you stole the show. What happened? What do you mean? When when you know when all the kids were playing little donkey, I wasn't meant to be doing my drum set in that track. I was only meant to. I think I was doing We Three Kings or something. Uh -huh. But when they started doing it, the tune I couldn't help myself with the drumstick, just like tapping away. Right at the at the drum. Yeah. And then when it came on, I was like, oh, and I started doing it and, like, the teacher looked at, looked over at me and I was like, oh, I shouldn't be doing this. But she sort of gave me the nod as if to say, it's all right, carry on, it's, it's sounding good. <laughs> then after it, she went, you know, they love that, you can do that again tomorrow night. Yeah. So I got, like, an extra, extra part in the play in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow! That so you were, so, so you were doing the drum part to We Three Kings over Little Donkey? Yeah. That's weird, that is like Fatboy Slim or something, isn't it, when they mix up? No. Well, no, still yeah. mashing oh. it up at the age of what eight? Yeah, no. and that's what I'm saying. And that, is planned. that when um, is that when uh, someone was filming it and you could f hear your dad on the camcorder going, "He looks like a twat." That's that's the one, yeah. yeah. Oh, and that's why maybe that's why I don't want to be on the telly because I'll always have my dad's sort of echoing voice just saying, <laughs> "He shouldn't be on there. He looks <laughs> looks like a." That's it. So. So that's that's why I'm a bit sort of nervous about this today. Really, you think it's sort of quite. Freudian in a way, sort of. Yeah. Your attitude is case for our Well, plus I haven't got the look. I don't, I'm not pretending, right, that mm. I should be on the telly. What's wrong with your look for VH1? It's not right. It's not John right. Jono was on VH1. Was he? Yes. So I'm going up against Jono. <laughs> <laughs> so He's gone now, he's moved on. Yeah, there you go, you see. Another one who they gave a chance to. Yeah. And then he was like, you know, yeah, I can do that. He's, he's built up, right? They built him up, you can do that as a job. <laughs> and then they knocked him down. And he probably started eating. Well, I don't think you can <laughs> set off Jono, though. He started eating! He started eating! I'm looking at him now. Yeah. Right, oh. So that's what I'm saying. So if it's meant to be, right, it, whoever's gonna watch this tape, you know, yeah. uh, thanks for the offer and that. But, you know, time will tell. <laughs> Very wise. So, yeah. there you go. And I tell you what, actually, go right, on. It's, it's a bit funny because we're looking on the web in the week at different sayings and, uh, <laughs> Do you know the saying? A round head does not an MTV presenter no, make. Yeah, no. Spa, uh, what's that saying? Spark. <laughs> spark, oh. spark in the pan or something? Hey? Flash in the pan? Flash in the pan. Yeah. Do you know that saying? <coughs> yeah. That, that's a bit like what could happen to me, innit? Do you know what I mean? There I am trying to do my normal job, right? <laughs> and then you bring me in here on a Saturday, next thing everyone's after me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then it doesn't work out and yeah. I'm dropped. Yeah. And that saying, flash in a pan, do you know how it came about? No. Um, do you know like how years ago they used to dig for gold? Gold. Yeah. Yeah. And they had like a little pan. Yeah. And they'd put the soil in and they'd rub the soil. Yeah, and it shone in the now sun. Now and again it shone in the sun and they yeah. got all excited and were like, oh brilliant, some gold. And then they realised it was just the sun flashing in the pan. Yeah. And that's, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. So again, that's a bit weird how I saw that saying in the week. Almost yeah. like a little thing saying, don't be getting carried away. Omen. So, well, makes you wonder. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Not really. So. I mean, I do appreciate that a lot of these sayings, like, you know, cat out of the bag and, uh, you know, flash in the pan. I'm now getting context for a few of them. So. Yeah. Yeah. Flash the, the pan one. That That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But it isn't educating Daniel and Spencer. It's educating Ricky. Yeah, this is very true. This is very yeah. true. So, right. w uh, by proxy, we're getting edumacated. Correct. Secondhand education. Just yeah. like smoking can kill you. Because <laughs> we knew too much. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. mm. So, you, things that make you wonder, you saw Darren Brown, what did he do? 
Oh, Brown, no, no. He's extraordinary. Yeah, I told him, but I said, uh, um... You should uh, peep to- a lot of people don't realise who Darren Brown is, and he oh, is, we, I think, we, the best illusionist um, in the country. We went to, uh, Jonathan Ross's house, um, for his birthday. I didn't. Uh, no, me, uh, uh, me and Jane, and we went there, right, and there was lots of people there, and, uh, um, Darren Brown was there, and Jonathan got Darren Brown to and it was incredible, he did all these tricks, right? Um, <coughs> I mean incredible, it was just amazing. Um, and he did one, um, with a bloke was there, a uh, friend of Jonathan's, I think his name was, um, Ray, and, uh, he got him to give the pack, he said, count the cards, and he counted out fifty-two Six cards. Two, yeah. yeah? But yeah, he went, think of any card in that pack. He didn't touch it yet, he's counted fifty-two, it, it was in his hand, he said, think of any card. He said, what was it? He said, three of spades or something. He went, find it in the pack, couldn't find it, he said, count the cards, there was fifty-one. Right, and he couldn't find the card, and he had no idea. And we forgot about it, he went, oh, it's gone wrong, and he forgot about it, he, and he kept, so he was going, I wonder where that card is, and he kept looking at it, I found out, that about a week ago, Ray went into hospital with an appendicitis, yeah, and the surgeon was really so this, there was somewhat crumpled up, there was a th thing, and it was a card, it was the card that was in his thing causing appendicitis, and when he came out of surgery, there was a card from Darren Brown saying, was that your card? Wow! That's amazing, don't you think? I mean, this that's like, a, incredible. This thing and what, and then a crab went, I don't know what it <laughs> is, it's a five of spades. <laughs> it's another wind up. Yeah. Yeah, well, see. See, I'm not gonna believe anything anymore. But that's so if good. I was, if I ever You've learned a lesson. Yeah, but say say if all this goes wrong now, right? Cry wolf and all that. Yeah. Imagine I get dropped by MTV. <laughs> Next thing that was been me. asked, yeah. Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> right, they're short on firemen because they're always going on strike. <laughs> I answer the phone, it's you saying my house is on fire. I don't know what you're talking about now, so, Carl. You, I actually- I don't know what he's talking no, about. I, I think somewhere along the line there, Carl has been recruited by the fire brigade. <laughs> Did you leave that out in the story? Start again. Yeah, right. That's what right, I'm Because saying. I just wound you up about crabs, babies pushing their way out of vaginas, yeah. and Darren Brown what calling the pens- What yeah. Little, uh, what's- what's the saying about, uh- Little acorns little, don't little, gather little any grounds. Cry- uh, cry and wolf. You yeah. can take a fish to water and you can't you make a well, Do you know- you know that saying? Um, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it. I'm so confused right now. I, there are so many sayings, so many sayings right now. I'm just like, oh my god! I heard a little acorn can't what? I've oh, there's so many. And listen, I'm I am, a, I am a butcherer of sayings. I cannot get one right to save my life. All right, but um. Pretty much. That's where my mental state is, because I just got <laughs> derailed. Yeah. What is it? It's it's replug and stay indoors? Yes. Is that what it yes. is? Never leave. Never leave your house. Never leave. Be chronically leave. online. Chronically online, never leave. <laughs> That's my new sign-off. <laughs> oh. Drink. Do you know why? Because um, it's next too long. No. What? It's got an awkward neck. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's correct. That is correct. You can't lead a horse to water. Oh. You lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. That's, oh, got it, that's got it. We, we got cut it. off. I just couldn't take it anymore. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I was like, what? What's too long? The fish is had to drink water? Why is the fish drinking water? I was, I was like, there's too many things going on right now. All right. <laughs> hey, anyway, we've still got to come. Uh, right, it's Carl. been bad today. I'm going to apologise to people listening today because you might as well I be focused. Been focused. Do, you, do you know? Do you, have you heard the thing that uh, Rolling Stone gathers no moss? You yeah. wear that? Yeah. Do you know where that's from? Uh, do you know where, in, where it's from? In Woodstock, right, the band used to go out and get this sort of like moss that used to grow there and it was sort of like slightly hallucinogenic, right? And they used to come back and they used to all go out, like, everyone was out there, mamas and papas were doing it, um, the doors, they all came back. But Mick Jagger and Keith Richards would never do it. But they'd smoke other people's. Yeah. A Rolling Stone never gathers his own moth. That was what it was. <laughs> Seriously, Carl! Right, that's so the we've truth. still got to come. Uh, <laughs> rock busters. Have you heard the saying, a fish in time saves nine? The, the clues were- Have you heard that? That'll never get off the ground. <laughs> LZ. You've got- Have you heard that saying, out of the frying pan, into the saucepan? <laughs> You've also got- uh, Carl. Oh. I'm trying to hold it together now. Well, <laughs> No, we're trying to teach you something, Carl. Yeah, but you're not. Why? Because at least my stuff that I tell you, if you go into a pub and told someone- What? There was a blind girl, she hit her head, she could see. <laughs> What's that? Well, just don't- don't get down if your eyes are bad. <laughs> <laughs> right, with- No, go round headbutting, right, right, thing. Play play the the car, play. Oh, Carl, come <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> even on that level, just so wrong. I thought it was a deaf girl that hit her head. Like, don't get down if your eyes are bad because a deaf girl hit her head and she could hear again. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, uh, what I'm, the fuck? I, I'm getting hot. I need to I need to take this off Dude, real quick. Absolutely crazy. Oh my I god. I, I've missed right I've now. missed I might be talking over you. So I I've missed these guys. Back. I've missed these guys, man. I still can't hear you because I, no, I haven't fine. put my headphones back on. It's fine. Everyone else can. And that's what matters because we're here for you guys. <laughs> I can't. I don't yeah. know what you said, but yeah. I can't wait to hear this back. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm probably going to leave it in. Oh, you should. Totally. Totally. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the Undertones, Teenage Kicks, that's one of the tracks on the uh, best air guitar album in the world ever, Volume 2, which is one of the prizes on today's Rockbusters. And John Peel's favourite track John ever. John Peel's favourite song of all time. And, uh, so, Colin, have you got the answers for Rockbusters this week? Yeah, we have, yeah. We've got, uh, <laughs> the first clue. <laughs> You're upset, so Carl. miserable. I, I'm a bit fed up today. The weather's- I knew when I was walking in today, though, that I'd be- But that video, there's lots of- there's lots of weather on that video, so they can- whoever wins this can go and see sort of the <laughs> weather you were talking about. <laughs> uh, the first one was, that'll never get off the ground. Uh, LZ. Yeah. The answer there was Led Zeppelin. So easy. Like um, yeah. yeah, but I said that's here. There's always two easy ones and a difficult one. Go on. The third one was, you'll get a load of bacon off them. Go on. That was L. Uh, Long Pigs. Right. Yeah, and then the second one was uh, that woman's got her husband's gloves and a pair of her own. Yeah, H H. Yeah, yeah, that was Ermin's Zermits. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's a three. That's a three answers. I'm sure well, I'll like give the prize. Okay, I didn't know those last two. Did you? I've heard of Herman's Hermits before, but I don't know who they are. Does that make sense? Like I know the name because it's Herman's Hermits. He, he, you know, you know, you've heard the name. I just don't know who the hell they are. It must have been like an '80s one-hit wonder or something. Maybe, maybe, probably. Absolutely the other, crazy. The pig one, I don't know. No I idea don't know at all. This week, this man's hermits. There's a lot of hermits. That is genius, Carl. That is genius. Oh, hermits, hermits. So, There's so many people who are worthy of the um of the prizes, obviously. I'd quite like to give the prize this week to um Tom McGibbon. Just because I like his name, I, I don't know if I've pronounced that right, but Tom McGibbon. Yeah, I like to give that to no, him. No, you shouldn't laugh at someone's he name. In, uh, he also lives in Blocks Hall Road. I don't know why I find that. <laughs> Tom McGibbon of Blocks Hall Road. I don't know why. Well, you've made a mockery. You've made a monkey Top out of the man. man. For, for old Gibbo. Yeah. yeah. And he's asking that uh, he's got a question there. Well, um, can Carl get rid of slugs? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm almost certain he can. <laughs> so well done well, to um if, to, if, uh, if, if he's been listening. Here we go. Bugs. Oh my God. I thought we were gonna escape through, but here we are, my wow. old friend. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Bugs. This, if he was listening a few months ago, he would have known how to. Go on. Because I told you what slugs like. What? Getting in letterboxes. <laughs> how does that get rid of them? Put some stamps in your garden. <laughs> <laughs> they like, what? uh, no, what? they like, they like stamp glue. So, yeah, you know, that's and only that how, how does that get rid of them? They keep coming back, won't they? Then they go, I can't trying. believe it. We'd have to climb those boxes now. There's a fellow leaving well, stamps out for us. You've won some prizes and I've sorted you. No, how does that get rid of slugs? Leaving stamps out for them, their favourite food. Because they... it's like planting a load of lettuces. They love that. <laughs> well, it depends where he's got them. I thought he meant he's got them in his house. I'm sorry. So, oh, to I put stamps know. on the outside. They go. There's loads of stamps out here, lads. Let's leave this house. Right. So let's get out of this house. We've got. Uh, we've got one more. Go on. Uh, educating Ricky to go on and quick then. I need. I need educating. Right. Uh, don't rub it too hard. You'll get a rasher. How was he going out with Darren Brown? You said something in the break. Oh, I have to say, yeah. Um, Darren Brown, who uh, we bumped into as well, and he did this incredible trick where he puts forty pounds down on the table. He says, "I can tell you which hand you've got a pound coin in." Uh, let's say five times out of five, you know. So I have a, a pound coin in one hand. I put it behind my back. I bring my hands out, and he can tell me every single time which hand it's in by asking questions, by doing various. Well, he doesn't things. ask, but he just goes, "No, you might have done that one. You might do the same again." But then you're an intelligent person. You're probably not with it. He goes, "So it's in that one," and he does it every time. Yeah, five and he gets it every incredible. Time. It's absolutely majestic. Oh, wow. I, I mentioned this to Carl. Yeah. And well, Carl, you tell me how you think you could outwit Darren Brown. 
Because your dad used to do this trick, you well, told me. My dad used to play this. Yeah. Um, How old were you? Uh, I don't know, probably about ten. So you probably weren't as sharp as you were now then. Uh, so they <laughs> used to play it, and and the way of telling what Andy's got it in, his hand looks bigger. So that's what you've got to do. <laughs> that's how he did it then. Yeah. So, so to catch down that, so ca no to catch down out. different because he did it with golf balls, but <laughs> but to catch down out. You that's that. how he did it. Or, he just put put a pound in each hand okay. and wind him up. Just go, no, you're wrong. You, yeah. are, you are brilliant, Carl. Yeah. Do this one. Do you, d do you, uh, did your dad used to do the one where he takes your nose off <laughs> off of your face and puts it between his fingers? Did, did you, you did you keep going to the doctor? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go on. Right. You know how that's done? You know he's not actually taking your nose off? This is off. done. Go it on. This is thumb. Last on. one. Yeah. Don't rub it too hard, you'll get a rash out. It's been a mess today, <laughs> What do you mean, it's been a mess? It's been a mess. What has? This. What? The show? Yeah. How has it been any worse? It's just all over the place. There's no sort of, it's not tight. It's not tight like it you normally is. Um, <laughs> and she'll be going away with this, thinking that's what the show would be like. She listens to the show. She knows it's a shambles every week. Go on. Yeah. Uh, don't rub it too hard, you'll get a rasher. Yeah. Do you know the saying, ham it up? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, go on, yeah. yeah. Right, well, do you know what it means? Well, it means to overact. Right. Well, Years ago, w with uh, with actors in musicals and stuff, mm. they'd um, the actors used to look pretty ill on, on the stage because they didn't have proper makeup and that. Right, right. So what they used to do uh, yeah. to make themselves look rub their face in pigs. Well, they got they got bacon, mm. rubbed it on the face, mm. and it made the face a bit sticky because of all the like you know the pig fat and bit of lard and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm. And then they'd go and get some bricks, bricks, yeah, mm -hmm. house bricks rub them together, make some sort of red dust from the brick, mm. and then put the dust on the face. Mm. And the, the fat and the lard and that would make the dust stick mm. to the face. Mm. And um, they'd look well under the lights. And that's that's where the they'd same- They'd smell great as well. Yeah, well- They're Lovely, everyone likes the smell of bacon. Mm. No, but, so that's that's the old uh, ham it up, that's where like it that. comes from. I'm, you know, if, if it's true, I've, started, I've no reason to think that it's not. So that's your third educating Ricky today. So, what have you learned? Nothing. <laughs> <You've> absolutely <laughs> sod all. You've got your hamming it up. Yeah. Um, rams are gay. They, they know which ones are gay now. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, At last, the, fella, the fella who can hand read, um, an arse. <laughs> if you miss the rest of the show, <laughs> what are you gonna make of that? <laughs> If you've just tuned in, <laughs> you are a maniac, Carl. So, and you've had your screen test. I reckon we'll be seeing you on MTV or VH1 in the near future. How oh. much is it? How much? I mean, she can't answer. What do you reckon I'll get? Because I've, I've, you see, the annoying thing is, I've just bought a flat in London. Yeah. In central London. Yeah. MTV's in Camden. Yeah. I wouldn't have bought in central London if I'd have known I'd had to go there. <laughs> that was to make my life easier, so I could walk to work. So now I've got to go out of my way. So I need <laughs> to cover that. <laughs> <laughs> to be truthful, I'm not sure that the MTV gig is a certainty. Yet. Uh, she's pretending she's not sure, but she can't wait to sign me up. Yeah. I reckon you'd, you know, you, uh, m maybe start off with a few little interstitials, just like, you know, what do you think, make of that, or Carl says, and, you know, a few of them. I reckon you'll make a, you know, a few why grand. Is it, what, why has it got to be music? There's why can't music. it be? I think that idea on the animals is good. I can do film stuff. I'm talking about films. <laughs> Elephant Man. Love that. So Go on then, do a film review, quickly. Right, uh, right, well today on, uh, film review, we're doing, uh, classic films, um, and today we're looking at, uh, Elephant Man, John Merrick, one of his, <laughs> one of his better pieces of work. Um, it's a sad film, I, I, I've never really been able to watch it all the way through. <laughs> Sorry, uh, John Merrick's better piece of work was him being the Elephant Man, played by John Hurt. Yeah. Go on then. Um, sad film, uh, when I was younger, Tell us a bit I about it. What I is it about? It. It's who's about John a Merrick? fella. It's about yeah. a fella who's yeah, got a funny he... head. Right. Tell us this. And, um, you know, he lives in, uh, I think he lives in London, in like the, about the 1930s or something like that. And he's being picked on all the time and stuff. Mm. And, um, first time you watch it, you'll probably cry a bit. And then the second time you watch it, you're just sort of thinking, God, that would be bad. Sort of having a head like that being picked on all the time. Then the third time you watch it, you might think, you know, oh, uh, how does he get his jumper on? <laughs> uh, then, don't know, I'm probably bored of it the fourth time. 
<laughs> but, but it's well worth watching, so, uh, Elephant Man, uh... Brilliant. Yeah, see it. Brilliant. I think if you want to get on TV... That was not a good review. That was awesome. That was just... That was not... That was... I'm sold, though. I'm not gonna watch it. <laughs> You're talking shit. Oh, my God, dude. Uh... I've I, and honestly, I've I think I've only seen maybe f- maybe five minutes of the Elephant Man in passing. Yeah, I've I've never seen it. Yeah, uh, I know exactly what they're referencing, but wow! I only knew about it because in the beginning of us checking out Carl Pilkington, he was talking about the Elephant Man, and like like yeah. that's in his big book of uh, weird things is yeah. Elephant Man. It was like that was like an A list celebrity for him. Yeah. I think that was Meet Carl Pilkinson one. Yes, I think it was. Mm-hmm. God, that was so long ago. We were yeah. so young. <laughs> yeah. TV Carl, you'd be better as the subject of maybe like an omnibus <laughs> documentary. <laughs> yeah. Living with Carl. <laughs> or maybe one of those uh, appeals in Comic Relief. Oh, all go oh. to the people abroad, you know. There's some people in this country that need our help. <laughs> yeah. See you later. What is it? That's the Libertines, Time for Heroes. Oh, yeah. So, Carl, what, what a great day. Carl, he's done his, uh, screen test. That's going back to, uh, MTV now, to look at the big wigs to have a look at. Shouldn't mention wigs. Um, <laughs> we've had, uh, Rockbusters. We've had, uh, Educating Ricky. We had Educating Carl. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, Clary next week, so. Yeah. But you'll be back for the big a... Christmas, uh, Christmas spectacular. Yeah, and that's, uh, that's that. I've not been happy today. Go on, um, why? If someone's listened for the first time today, it's, it is normally better than this. It's not. No, it is. It is. I don't think it is. So, no. uh, so I, really, I really don't think it is. So that's that then. So I'll see you in... Two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. All right, enjoy yourself. Cheers. Best of luck with MTV. All right, I'll, uh, see you later. Okay. See ya. Cheers. Excellent. <laughs> Carl with his... Victoria Plum. I want to see a Victoria Plum. I want to know what it is. Is it? Is it does it look like a little gnome? It's it's a it's a woman gnome. A female gnome. Yeah. A little gnome. With, and yeah. um and uh, did your mum collect gnomes? She likes anything gnomes. She likes fairies. She likes uh, Indians. She collects all that stuff. Yeah, and it doesn't matter what she it is. <laughs> what do you mean? You know, like a proper Indian with all the ad gear on. Oh, a Native American. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. likes anything with them on. Like, you know, it can be a fridge magnet. <laughs> it can be, uh, yeah. just, just anything. A lot of point. Native American wisdom is is around the fridge magnet, because they yeah. think it has special powers of adhesion. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I, that's, you read some of their, <laughs> their, their <laughs> writings, yeah. the great works. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be laughing. That is so funny. Oh shit! <laughs> the great power of <laughs> adhesion. Oh no! Uh, uh, great Native American works. Uh, <laughs> Refrigerator magnets. Oh uh, shit! Oh no! Uh, uh, love it. Oh my god. <laughs> Laughter's the best medicine. Uh, you sound better right. already. Right. <laughs> Jesus. So is it, it hey, in this in this little clip that we get, is this like slow down? Or am I am I having like a fucking stroke? What's going on? <laughs> I, I, I think it's different of uh, quality of audio. Okay. Okay, because yeah. I'm like, they're not sounding the same. Yeah, it, it is. Whole different. Room's spinning, Spencer. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> you got a dart in your neck. Oh, Come man. on, man. Come on. We have 20 minutes left. Oh, Come my on. God. You got this. You got this. <laughs> um, now, uh, <laughs> it reminds me, talking of gnomes, um, he said to me in the week, he went, oh, did you see that program on telly last night about dwarves and fellas without legs nicking cars? And I went, no. He went, oh, it's amazing, right? Because they haven't got legs and that. They scoot along and they can nip into a car like the Dukes of Hazzard. <laughs> <laughs> Explain more, Carl. No, you see, I didn't see it. Someone else told me about oh. it. That's what I said to you. I said, did you see it? Because I missed it. And it's about these <laughs> these little fellas um, who uh, specialise in car nicking. <laughs> and the thing I wanted to know is, because this lad who sort of watched it, only watched half of it. Is he like you? Well, I said, I can understand 
how it's easy to get in, but then how do you get away? You can't reach the pedals. Yeah. Can there be two of them? But presumably he opens yeah, the car for someone no else. Good, is it? What do you mean? What? So he's steering and he's like, right, press the brake a bit. And then there's then there's one that's just legs but without the top half. I don't understand <laughs> how this helps them though. What are they? What? Why are they? Why does this make it easier for them to? Because they cars? can just get through the window really quickly, like in the Dukes of Hazard. What? Because <laughs> <laughs> their legs don't get in the way. Right. Do they just run and just? But what do you mean the wind? I mean what? So someone's driving along. No, I didn't see it. And it's the window open. You. I didn't. I didn't see. Do it. they leap in when there's someone still driving the car? I don't know. Well, there's too many things left unanswered here. I well, can't no, go over Christmas and Christmas and not know. Well, But that sort of this panicked you anyway. I imagine. <laughs> I bet you were gutted you missed that program, weren't you? Well, I would have, I'm interested in stuff like that because I like <laughs> learning, which gets us on to educating Richard. <laughs> oh, excellent, <laughs> slick. Uh, we've Go had a, we had a good year of stuff. Teaching we have stuff. Well. Yeah, I've uh, learned a lot. Can you remember any of that? Of the course, highlights? I can. There was a deaf girl, and she hit her head, and she could hear. Yeah. Um, there was also um, some people who ate tomatoes like they're poisonous on lead. There was also a fella who a doctor who gave a blood transfusion um, with some parrots from the pet store. Yeah. Um, because the, the doctor in America, and it was the olden days when the lines were bad, said, give him his parents' blood, and the doctor this side thought said, give him some parrot's blood. So that was true, <laughs> and that educated me. That was fact. What have you got for us? Well, we've only got two, because I've taught you about jellyfish today, that yep. we need them, so we've only got two, two things to go at, and the, uh, the, I give them a little headline so you remember them, to make them snappy. Mm -hmm. Uh, yep. the two headlines you've got, oh, what a catastrophe. <laughs> okay. Um, and the second one is, well, you'd think it'd be Bughead, wouldn't you? <laughs> what? Well, you'd think it'd be Bughead, wouldn't you? You'd think it beat... No, you'd think it'd be... Yeah. You'd think it'd be Bughead, wouldn't you? Bughead. 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 This can't be... If this is anything with a, a bug living without a head, I'm not interested. Because we've done it. All you've All right, done is well, let's, let's just do oh, what a cat. So it is that. Is well, well, do that one first. Bug one. Which do one? Which one are we no, doing? No, do the bughead one. Right. Well, the bug, <laughs> the bughead one. Uh, well, we've we've talked a, a lot about animals now, haven't we? Without heads. <laughs> <laughs> no, Surprisingly, we have. I think a disproportionate amount on it. <laughs> if you're a new listener and this is the first time you listen, you'd be surprised. Yeah. Yeah, we've done all that. We've, done, we've covered uh, worms. The way if you cut their head off, it grows back. If you don't <laughs> cut too too high above its neck. <laughs> Oh, thanks for that. The chicken. Um, the fella who blinked. <laughs> yep. I can't go into it again. Right. Let's not go into it again. Ah! We've had um, <laughs> the chicken we know had that lived yeah. for eight months. Yep. And we've had, and we've cockroaches. had the cockroaches living for a week without an egg. Right. right. Okay. Well, it's, a, it's a bit more on the, on the cockroach front, really. Right. Um, they found right that if you get a cockroach, yeah, and you cut its head off, yeah. Right? Yep. And then you find a cockroach that's still got its head, but it hasn't got any legs. Right. Right? It's not over for both of them. Right? Because what you can do, you get the one that's got the legs. Right. With no head. Yeah. Sort of running around. Get the one with the head. Uh-huh. Sit it on top of it. Right. Get a little tube. <laughs> okay. So that the fluid. So is this is this aunt is go out of the Let room? Is this like Blue Peter? Let him you can get you can get this for Christmas, right? You yeah. get a little tube. You set that on top, so the bodily fluids are still running between the two. Right. The head of the one on the top will control the feet of the one on the bottom. <laughs> okay. What about that? Good. <laughs> and uh, will it continue to live? Um. Yeah. Okay, you don't know that for sure, do you? <laughs> no, that was just a, that was just no, a question that the really wasn't expecting. Yeah. What, what do you think of that? It's good, yeah, it's great. Yeah, just a primitive nervous system that can, yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go with that one. I guess. I, so then, so then the the cockroach with the head is running two bodies. Yeah. Yeah. It, the body on top and the body on the bottom. <laughs> the one that doesn't have a head. So the the body on top is doing the work for both. The only thing yeah. the other body is bringing is legs. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> We're here now. We're fucking here now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Hmm. 
Yeah. Did, did you expect us to be more impressed and excited by that? Did you fall off your chair when you read that? (laughs) (laughs) Did you you think you were going to be the Frankenstein of the insect world? No, I just was thinking if they can do that, you know, with with, with with humans. humans. Because I I also did a bit of research on... Did you ever, did you you come to the, um, sort of conclusion that apart from the moral aspect of it, that the human was probably more complicated than... Yeah, but, do you know what I mean? Things, things move on, don't they? Modern science, Rick. You know, I had, I had Binatone as a kid. Now they've got PlayStation 2 and the difference in ten years They is have amazing. found that if, if you lose your head, a cockroach can live normally on your body, but not the other way around. Your <laughs> head on this cannot control its legs because it's yeah. too complicated it's for too your confusing. brain. Yeah. So, uh, it, yeah. Well, so, then, then other research, because uh, I thought if you don't learn from that, I'll give you something else for free, right? Go on. Um, <laughs> that they uh, can clone people. Uh-huh. The only reason they don't do it, right, say if, like, Ricky needed, uh, a lung, right, they (laughs) could clone you and make you the same, but the only reason they don't want to do it is because it'd be a bit horrible, wouldn't it? And it would would take, sort of, 18 years for me to get an adult lung. And there's all kinds of moral implications. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? You hadn't thought so, of that. So, sorry, so, because, lest, lest we forget, Rick, yeah. he ended with, the only reason they don't do it is because it's a bit horrible and that. <laughs> <laughs> Which scientist said that? Uh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's a quote. That's not it. That's not the other one. <laughs> that's it. No, 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 that was, that was just, you know. We've got another one to come. Oh, yeah. I, I can't, can't wait. The headline again, what was the headline the again? The headline, oh, what a cat toe stuffy. Looking forward to that. <laughs> Yeah, a bit more kind of talk. This is from his um, covers album, which is called Snowbird. He's so happy. Have you got, have you got it? Have you, have you got something that will, um, that's something that I won't know that's. Fuck. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that's a whole completely different uh, audio. Um, I backed it down just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. Because that, that came out of nowhere. You're awake now. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what? What? The room stopped spreading! <laughs> That's like the cockroaches and the fucking voices. We should have gone with one that had less views and less time because whoever put this one together, uh, I think they were drunk and left a few people, a few of the bits in. Oh uh, my goodness. Shame on you, whoever made shame. this. Shame. Shame. <laughs> yeah. Get it right uh, at least. Oh my goodness. We put long things together for a living. What is your excuse? Exactly. Uh, do better. You've been reprimanded by us here in the, in the galactical headquarters in the cloud. <laughs> yep. Correct. And that will interest me. Um, yeah, there's loads of stuff. Is it anything to do with monkeys? No, we've got, we've got monkey news. We've got monkey news coming up, of course we have. We've got monkey news people, and they're now, now over to, uh, XFM for monkey news with Carl Pilkington. No, we won't do right. that yet. We're not doing no. that yet. Um, educating Ricky is... Yeah. Well, let's uh, do it. Let's do it ages ago. Educating Ricky. Oh, that's interesting, and it's correct. Hang on a minute, though. What I do is, I tease you, don't I, with headlines. Oh, go on then. And then, you have yeah. to sort of go, that one sounds good. Go on then, what, what are I want to know more about that, educate me. Yeah. Right? You've got, uh, well... Uh, <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. That, that Nelly died. <laughs> <laughs> that Nelly died? Oh, like, okay. Okay, right. could so be about an elephant. Yeah. Go on. You've got that, you've got, uh, well, uh... I've got well. They, they, they take well for, as red. So they all start with well, okay? <laughs> Knob body has been that lucky before. <laughs> Brilliant, all right. Okay. Uh, oh, you've got, get a lobe of this court case. Right, okay. I, I'm going for knob body has been that lucky before. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Love that. Love uh, that. Ah, he brought the low back. Yes. <clears throat> <sighs> right, it's a story about this kid who was born, right? Uh, was he? Yeah, he was, he was bopped out like and the dad and the mum saw the baby and he was like, oh, that's a good looking little kid. Sure. And they were proud of that. And then, uh, and like they're surprised that it's a good looking little kid, it's yeah, theirs. Yeah. Like, it could have been a, uh, uh, it could have been a frog, and they'd have gone, oh, he's got your eyes. And then, uh, the doctor goes, yeah, it is, but, uh, look at that. What? 
He said, he's a boy and, uh, hasn't got a knob. I love the doctor saying that. <laughs> I love this GP. Right. Or this midwife saying that. Oh, he's a little boy, yeah. Yeah, but no knob, baby. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. I, 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 I mean, I think. Right. No, but I'm speeding it up a bit. All right, come on. So the baby's right, so the baby's like that. And the, and, the says that and the woman's like, oh, it's our first as well and stuff, right? She's really gutted. She's What's the second gonna be like? So, uh... Your head. <laughs> <laughs> Just a knob. Doctor says, yeah. <laughs> Look like Carl. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, um, so the doctor says, well, I'll leave it with you for a bit. Get used to the idea, right? <laughs> <laughs> as opposed to throwing it away. So he wanders off. Yeah. He comes back with a smile on his face. Right? Found the knob. So the mum and dad are like, "What's what? You know, what are you smiling about?" He says, "You're not going to believe this. Baby's just been born. It's got two. <laughs> right? You can have one of them." And they did a little uh, <laughs> little operation. Where did you get this information from? That's in a book. <laughs> what book? Is, Is it, it the, the book that you carry round with you? No. With the woman with three legs, the, the juggler with nine arms, and the bloke who found shagging a chicken under a rock. <laughs> Is it in that book? Well, weird though, isn't it? Well, it's not true. It is true. What? In the same hospital, there was a baby born without no. a knob. Luckily, they no. It's Carl. What <laughs> <laughs> happened? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I, I don't know either. I don't know either. That that I, would be a nightmare. Not being born without a happy place. Yeah. What the what what the what the shit? And then what? Oh. I am. I have. I have only questions here, but you know we already know that Carl's plugged into different places. He's just, yeah. He's just. He gets his sources from like ancient scrolls and texts. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, like he doesn't. He doesn't go the normal means to get his stories and or news and or knowledge. Yeah. So, he takes. He takes the long way. Yes. Everyone else gets the shortcut. Yeah. He he goes on an adventure to get his knowledge yep. to the. I don't know. He's don't he's know. the kind of guy that that clicks on the ads and sees where it leads. Yeah, if he didn't have Suzanne, then he would click on those uh, hot singles in your area ads, and then on be every like, single web page, and then be like, "Where the hell am I?" And he'd be like, yeah. "In Tibet or something." Yeah, you know? he would. He's like the prime candidate. Like you're talking about MTV and VH1, he would be a prime candidate for catfished. Yes, yes, one hundred percent, man. Uh, Absolutely crazy, man. Yeah, no, no, fucking Carl, man. Jesus, uh, messing with my mind. All right, <laughs> come on, ten minutes. We got ten minutes. Come on, you got this. Oh man, but you're not. But you swear to God, you're not making. The doctor not making came back smiling because he won't believe it. There's a, there's a baby there with an excess of a knob. It happened, honestly, I'm not. All these things are not made up. The the educating stuff. That's that's why I do it, isn't it? Teaching you stuff. Always teaching you stuff. <laughs> All right, if anyone can confirm the baby oh, no knob, they're going to confirm because they're going to they're gonna go to the same dubious website that Carl got it from. I always try to be level-headed and reasonable in these situations. And it's you always, it's always it. Guatemala or Mexico. I bet Rodriguez there was born without a knob. Luckily, baby next door, and then and, and, uh, I was one or two knobs. What a load of shite. Play a record. You. There's still more to come. Oh. I'm looking forward nice. to it. Was it Nelly? Nelly dead. Nelly it, it, Nelly, it Nelly died. Nelly died. <laughs> Bones. Radiohead off the Benz album. Mm -hmm. I mean, might be my favourite album of all time. You said it before, yeah. I yeah. can't say I've ever really got into it. I remember when it came out, it was just so ubiquitous everywhere, I never really bothered listening to it. I can to still it. listen to it every day. Mm -hmm. I mean, that might be... I'm familiar with this. It's when Carl looks on the internet and finds a weird story about, um, you know, the, the double, double knob, um, fun, and tells me about it. And it's usually not true. <laughs> okay. If it is true, I know it already. <laughs> Go on then, Carl. Um, they're not really weird stuff, it's just stuff that's gone on. That's yeah. interested me, that's all it's yeah. about, and I right. about it. I should just confirm that we've had a number of emails that say the baby born without a knob 
and then having one transplanted from a baby that luckily enough had two knobs yeah. is apparently true. Right. Yeah, no, listen, yeah. listen, right. I, I, I don't question that Sorry, you could be born with a deformity and get someone's, you know, fingers, knobs, uh, what I'm saying is, it didn't happen with a doctor goes, I'll leave with it, I, I don't believe it, that baby's got two knobs. <laughs> exactly. What a coincidence. <laughs> I bet that little bit of information isn't in there, is it? Sure. That he went out the door, I'm gonna get a coffee, came back, uh, bloody hell, hold on, there's an extra knob, I found an extra knob. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll put that knob on there. Perfect. Right, well you've gone, you've, uh, you've opted for the headline, it nearly died. Right? Yeah. It's about this elephant. Yeah. Um, eight years old. Yeah. In Africa. Yeah. Right? It's had quite a good life and that. Yeah. Um, but then what happens is, I don't know what it's been eating, but, um, <laughs> His teeth fall out. Yeah, that's what the most elephants die of that because they grind them down the the teeth until they can't chew anymore. And they most yeah. elephants of old uh, dying of old age with an elephant is the fact that you haven't got teeth anymore. Mm. But it's not a good innings. It was eighty. Yeah. Right? Um. So anyway, they used so to pop the food up and feed it to it, and it lived quite happily. No, what they did was the village got together, said, uh, "Chewed the food for that's it." Sad, isn't it? Um, made it some false, false teeth. teeth. Made it some teeth. Out of wood. Wooden teeth. For this elephant, that's 80. <laughs> what do you think of that? I don't know. I don't know if it's true, I don't know I mean. No, it is, forget that. You've been proved wrong once. It is true. What do you think about that? Oh, it, but it, it, Carl, it's like saying, yeah, me auntie Nora saw a ghost. What do you think about that? There's no comment. I can't comment on it. Would you have gone to the trouble, is what I'm saying? To build an elephant some it's teeth. 80, it's 80. Yeah. With all the problems Africa's got and that, and they're messing about making teeth for an elephant. What problems have Africa got? Well, there's not enough food to go around, so if an elephant's dead, that's a bit more food left. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Why? Yeah, but you're assuming this is in the middle of a village where there was famine and starvation. Mm, it might have been, it, it might have been South Africa, Kenya, uh, you don't know, it's not all, it's not all Ethiopia if or- If it was a busy city, people in the village wouldn't have time to be messing about with making teeth and that, would they? It was a little village. <laughs> a little village. <laughs> yeah. And a local elephant. A local elephant? Like a local post office? I'll meet you by the elephant. No, to be fair, Rick, I think I saw Bob Geldof on TV saying, please, people, <laughs> stop making elephants' teeth. Uh, they are eating all the food. We're sending it over there. F the number. Where's the teeth? <laughs> so, I, don't, I don't know. It's possible. Send us the I mean, teeth. it's possible. It's possible they've made this elephant some some uh, some dentures. It is possible. Wouldn't yeah. it have been easier to just pop it? Exactly. I'd I'd thought, it up, serve it some soup or whatever. Yeah, I mean, if you're making its teeth, you know, it's a village. So I I'd, I'd thought it's a, you know, I wouldn't have thought it would work for very long, and I wouldn't have thought the elephant. Uh, would understand that it was teeth, so uh, I, I wouldn't have been able to thought that the villagers could do it. I mean, top veterinary surgeons could have done some, uh, but I think they made it all goodwill, but I don't want to thought it worked, so they probably end up dying or pulping it like I suggested. But, you know, thanks very much, play a record. No, uh, but didn't you say something about wooden teeth? Someone, you know, had wooden teeth? Mm. I don't know, I think that was possibly my grandparents. They had wooden teeth? Yeah. Well, I don't know if it was wooden, I think the palate was wood and then the teeth were as you would normally Yeah, it's like from the 16th century though, isn't well, it? Well, it was, it was the 1940s. They used to hammer them in without anaesthetic. Really? Yeah. Just oh. to put into the roots so it wouldn't, oh, God. That's, that's a rubbish sign, isn't it, to leave and, as well. And, and, and other people's teeth, obviously dead people's teeth, you could replace it, just that, just bang it in for a while. Oh. Oh, God, unbelievable. Oh, dear. Play a record, Carl. <laughs> if you've had your teeth, if you've had teeth hammered into your gums. <laughs> oh, wooden teeth, man. Wooden Haven't teeth. heard about that since George Washington. Yeah, man. Yep. Very true. Mm. Very true. Hey, man. Wooden teeth. For an elephant. Yeah. I mean, they've, they've you know... They've done, um, what was it? It was, um, oh, I read somewhere ages ago. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, they, <laughs> they, 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 re they recently repaired, um, uh, bald eagle's beak using like epoxy resin or something like that. And it's, it was pretty wild because oh, okay. the eagle could still live, you know. Wow. The eagle would still, it just lost like part of its beak and people. People peopled with it, you know, <laughs> instead of letting uh, nature take its course, people peopled <laughs> the eagle. And uh, 
and it it survived and so that that was that was odd but yeah america america <laughs> we take care of our own bald eagles 100 percent fucking bald eagle mm -hmm. oh man <sighs> Sebo, English Summer Rain on XFM 104.9. Right, okay, you got the final educating Ricky Carl. Uh, get a load of this court case. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what happened was, right, uh, allegedly, uh, fellas in court for something that he shouldn't have done, right? Yeah. You got all the detail then at your fingertips. And the jury says, uh, he's guilty, right? And the judge went, what? He's not guilty. Off you go then, right? He misheard it. Um, yeah. You couldn't do anything about it because once, once the judge has sort of said, "You're not guilty," off you go. Off you go. You can go home. And the jury were like, "What, what, are, you, hey, what are you doing?" They said, "He's, he's guilty." And well, like, what do you think of the Thorns album? I'm quite a big fan, Rick. Yeah, I like that sort of old country sound. I think. I know. Uh, and that compilation you made me. That was that sort of thing. Really good. The Jaguars. <laughs> thanks for that one. No, there was the yeah. Angin one, wasn't there? There was the Angin one that happened. I used to there. <laughs> um, have you, what, what bands have you got been checking out recently? Any new things? Oh, just exploring all kinds of stuff. Obviously, you know, I like dipping back into the old stuff. I'll tell you what I've been appreciating a lot recently, Rick. Billy Bragg. Oh, brilliant, yeah. yeah great guy, great guy. Is he playing, isn't he playing, playing in March, yeah. You might want to try and hear about the, the, the Angin one when, the, when the fellow was- Sorry, mate, go, go on. When the fellow was hung. Well on. Uh, he, he was hung and- uh, Hung? He he was, sorry, what's hung? He was hung by a rope. So, isn't that- no, no, I think it was- wasn't he, uh, a Chinese- Emperor and the <laughs> Ming wasn't he young? Yeah. <laughs> sorry, was sorry. He was young. Some fella who'd done something. They they young him. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, it's not a word anymore. He was young. Well, don't be doing that again because you said squoze wasn't a word, and then I showed you a menu today that someone sent, and it said fresh orange. Yeah. Squoze. Inadvertent commas, and next to it was the word colour spelled C O L O R. So presumably either the American menu. Right, in which case, there's loads of American words that we don't use, or it's just a badly typed piece of work. Anyway, there was a bloke that was on. He was on and that, uh, <laughs> but he, he didn't die. On and that, he was definitely a Chinese. Yeah. De on and yeah. that, yeah. I remember him now, yeah. He didn't die, and they said, oh, just hang on a minute whilst we change the rope and that, and he stood there waiting, changed yeah. the rope. They, uh, tried to, you know, do it again, and, uh, didn't work. It didn't work, right. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. um, they got another rope, right? No. Didn't work. And, uh, and then they, they had to let him go, because it's like a, there's a well-known saying or something from, from this thing. Yeah. What? Yeah. Have you seen, um, have you, do you like, uh, Oh My Car Is On by, um, you know? Tim Burch's new single? I don't know that. Oh, it's brilliant. Can we play a bit later? Now. Yeah, can we play a bit Let's play a record now, and um, we'll, um, talk more of it later. Yeah. Last one. The last one. Hey, can you, Carl, would you, um, I've heard that though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my car is on. Tim Burgess. Brilliant. XFM 104.9. Right. Well, uh, we're running out of time here. Yeah. We had Carl in a little film, but I think we've really got time for monkey news, you know? Yeah. What are you thinking, Carl? Yeah, if you want to do that. Yeah, let's do monkey news. All right. Play uh, the jingle. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. <laughs> Had to get that in. Yeah. No, <laughs> the, um, I've heard that, though, that, that there was a, a hanging that failed. Like, oh, really? Like, three times. And, and the, the, the person, the executioner, or the person, because I think it, back in the, I think in the West, someone had to be present of the sentencing party yeah 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 with the executioner and if it didn't work it was deemed cruel and unusual yeah cool. makes sense so then they let the guy walk absolutely ah. crazy but i have heard that um but granted i could have been reading the same thing carl read yeah yeah but it seems plausible, though. It does, especially with all this. The J. I feel like that was more out this way. That was more yeah. out in the in the Wild West. Yeah. The American West, when we didn't really get our our shit together until way late, and it's still not together. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, putting it lightly there. Yeah. Oh, man. Dude, it was nice, man. It was just <sighs> something about these guys, man. They just mess with your mind, but you love it, and you keep coming back for more. Yeah. These guys are icons yeah. for this, this show. And I I have yet to see a a collaboration like this out there. No yeah. one comes close to this. Yeah. They were doing like, it before anyone else was doing it. No one name a better trio. I dare you to. Yeah. Yeah. In and comedy that is. Exactly. And not now. I feel like honestly, like every other comedian that's not actively touring has a podcast. Right. Like but someone that started out like this and is still like this. Yeah. Like yeah. I, no man. It's nice. It's nice to have Ricky and the it's nice to have the family back together. Ricky, Steve, and Carl. It's yeah. awesome, man. And I, I I'd I'd say we're open to doing other XFM stuff. Yeah. You know, maybe once a month, break it into two. Uh like the video if you want us to do yeah. Rockbusters next. Oh, is there a Rockbusters clip? Yeah, there is a Rockbusters compilation. In fact, oh it was on God. it was on the list uh, of potential Christmas and New Year co- uh, specials, but it came like very close to educating Ricky. So oh, man. it's like one or two votes away from being what we did, as opposed to educating Ricky. Well, I'm glad we checked out educating Ricky because it had little hints of Rockbusters in it. Yeah, so it yeah. gave us the gist before we would just cold turkey, just go right into it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm, we do Rockbusters. That's a great, this is a great segue into that. Yeah, yeah. Maybe if, if there's more, I don't know. I'm looking at the suggested videos right here. There's mm-hmm. a two hour, 10 minute compilation of Monkey News, which, you know, that was a segment on the Gervais show. So maybe there's some overlap there. Maybe. But maybe. anyway, y'all know what to do. <sighs> Thanks for watching both of these or maybe all three of them i might cut the first one into two i'm not sure yet yeah but uh thanks for watching all of them and going to sleep to any one of them you're probably not uh if you're still awake uh, you're either have a really hard time going to sleep and please get some help and thanks for watching there's yeah, someone around to some... subscribe and watch another video yep unplug do something crazy guys <laughs> happy new year happy new year Fellas, we could be that mistake. Let's do this.